Well, I kept getting asked to do this one again and again and again and again and again and again, so... We just gonna do it. It's the binge movie number six. Jesus, I have too many of these. But here you go. Enjoy your studying or your sleeping or whatever it is you're doing with these movies. I don't care. You do you. I'm gonna go nap now. Bye. It's a bitch. <laughs> You know how this works by now, just ask in the comments, somebody will catch you up. Okay, bye. Only weird people in grooms wear white suits. If you see a man in a white suit and he doesn't have a girl also in a white dress with him, then make sure you're careful- Oh, kitty you. Kitty you, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it, I'm so sorry! I used to carry on those little bottles of maple syrup in my purse when I lived in Texas. I'd have people send them to me so I can use them in a place to drive good syrup. Alex, are you sure you don't actually live in Canada? Looks at my thousands of dollars of medical debt. D&D spells named for the wizard who developed them nearly always take the form of developer's name, adjective, noun. In example, Otto's irresistible dance. Therefore, Mike's hard lemonade is a wizard spell. In this essay, I will- You know, the funny thing about Tumblr is that the people who write the First of all, this is extremely insulting and dangerous because profanity laid and otherwise flawless essay save for being factually completely wrong. And it turns out to be a self-righteous 14-year-old girl who heard half a fact and ran with it. And then there's someone posting, Sometimes the toads must go to toad prison for their horrid goblin crimes. And it's a 34-year-old with a PhD in amphibian behavior studies. They are a doctor, so clearly they do have to go to toad jail. Oh my god, you guys. Link is a highly versatile adventurer who wears light armor and consistently plays an instrument and usually has access to magic items and occasionally some spells. Link is a bard. This makes him only one of the handful of bards with the ability to shut the fuck up. Holy shit. You know, people often say they hope their deceased pet dog is chasing squirrels in doggy heaven. What did all those squirrels do to deserve an afterlife of torment? Well, dog heaven is also squirrel hell. It's a very efficient system. I can't stop fucking laughing at the thought of squirrels sitting so much in the mortal plane that they have to be sent to squirrel hell to atone. I'm sorry, little fictional character become important to me. I didn't do it on purpose. My friend just sent me this and I felt that. Hey, moron self shipper. We all feel this. Since coffee is a drug, Starbucks is a pharmacy that also sells snacks. Now I just want to see all my baristas in Blake Doctor masks. Starbucks, can you make this happen for Halloween, please? Today I learned if you got shrunk down to the size of an ant, not only would everything look bigger to you, but the world would also appear almost a million times darker. Light would no longer appear straight, meaning that the world around you would be covered in a haze of blurriness and shadow. Wow. Hope that doesn't happen. I'm upset. Why is there maple milk and waffle cones, but not maple ice cream? Seriously, I need to talk to the CEOs of Flavors. There's hot dog ice cream, but not maple ice cream? Wait, what? Oh, there is definitely maple ice cream. Well, I have to go to New Hampshire now, don't I? Come on over, man. We got maple shit everywhere. It's great. It's like Canada, but Patriot. Canada, but... <laughs> Could you imagine a pie getting thrown in your face? Funniest shit I ever visualized. I know. Ah, 1920s humor. There are no rules in the world, just expectations that have punishments for not meeting them. Okay, I swear the fuck you guys, stop murdering everyone, we've been over this. Okay, well, Minecraft villages have two different types of churches now, so... I'm assuming the villagers had a Protestant reformation? Testificate Martha Luther put the 95 hmms on an oak door in the form of a lot of signs. Like a lot of signs. Many signs. Got signs coming out the wazoo over here. Today's gender of the day is Sea Captain. Listed on all me legal documents. I wish I had crab legs. Wait, correction, I wish I had crab legs to eat, not 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 to replace my legs with Tumblr. Seriously. Can't believe we have to do this now. We make eye contact. And I connect to the Wi-Fi in your brain. And I delete half of your memories and make you left-handed. But I am left-handed. And I already have a poor memory, so. Good luck finding anything worth deleting. WAIT A MINUTE! I just accidentally invented a new idiom, maybe? Licking a tree and hoping for maple syrup. AKA, a attempt at resolving or achieving something with less effort than is required for success, and a high probability of proving it merely futile and faintly unpleasant. I 
can support this as a turn of phrase. A girl in one of my classes sent out an email saying, you'll be having a furry classmate this semester, and my heart stopped. But she was talking about her service dog. Mean. I like got this platoon stuck on my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. So you're not gonna believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a meaty slap sound upon impact, waking me up in the tender hours of night. I can hear this, and I don't like it. Vegans, just make peace with honey. No, just shut up, do it. Vegans will pretend not to hear when natives tell them their agave products are unsustainable because they have whimsical feelings about, and I cannot stress this enough, the freedom of hive insects. I mean, honey's literally murder, but go off. Okay, prove it. They literally puked their guts out to make your honey. Oh, I'm sorry, fucking, what did you just say? I have not seen any evidence they are harmed or die in the process of production. They do regurgitate the nectar as part of the process to concentrate it into honey. It's an interesting process. But they do not suffer any injury during this process. If they did, the cost to produce honey which is done naturally as a measure to survive over winter and through times of lower availability, would outweigh the benefits. If you kill several bees to produce enough honey to make one more bee, it makes no sense! Any animal that did that would die, even with human intervention. Do you have any sources that suggest otherwise? I'd be interested to hear of this relatively publicly available. Information was false or misunderstood. Well, okay. Bee farmers use what's called a honey maker. It's a crude device. It's similar to a meat grinder. They force the bees in and grind them up. What comes out is a paste. That paste is later filtered into what we know as honey. Um, oh my fucking god. What did this person just say out loud? This is, this is truly, this is the funniest thing I've ever read. Please show us pictures of your bee grinder. Okay, they might be falsely thinking about a honey extractor machine, but all these do is you place the beehive frames inside and a motor rotates it at a speed that removes the honey, which is then tapped through a tap at the bottom. Do you, do you think they put bees in that and spin them around until they vomit? Oh shit, it's bee carnival. Bad and naughty bees get put into the bee centrifuge to extract their honey. Okay, but seriously, vegans are coming after beekeepers is one of my major teeth grinding annoyances. For many reasons, because there's so many lies. And to go one step further, because it's such a waste. You see, the strongest vegan argument is that they don't want to exploit animals or take from them without their consent. But bees consent! No, I'm not kidding! How? Beehives aren't kept on leashes. They're outside. The bees can travel miles every day. They follow their queen, who is also outside, not on a leash, and can travel miles every day. If she doesn't like the high for any reason, for example, it got too hot, too cold, too messy, too filled with sugary stuff, and they need more space. Then the queen leaves, and with her the hive. The queen stays in the hive because the hive is the best place to live, period. Done. End of. If the hive is staying with the beekeeper, it's because the keeper is doing their job correctly and keeping them happy because the bees can, and do, leave bad beekeepers. Of all the animals we've domesticated as livestock, bees are the ones you can most easily argue are consenting participants in their keeping. Okay, but we are gonna just ignore the fact that this absolute personification of the term bra moment believes, or at least tried to convince people, that honey is the result of putting bees in a blender. Okay, back to dumb posts. Like, Tola sucks. Today, someone at the rock gym came up to me and asked if I was the girl who fell off the bouldering wall face first into the mat and muttered, Oh, fuck, I can't believe I've done this for a minute. This was not supposed to be my legacy. So I run frantically into Kroger to get ketchup before my McNuggets get cold. And as I stand at the self-checkout with only a jumbo bottle of Heinz tomato ketchup, everyone starts fucking laughing at me. Like, what the hell? Then I remember I'm wearing this shirt. I'm so fucking pissed off right now! You know, in hindsight, you should have checked what you were wearing. People who don't cook the cereal don't realize what they're missing out on. The heat of the flames really brings out the sweetness of the marshmallows. Okay, OP, I'm coming to your home to beat you in the face and ass.
Where are the Neko curls? I need to pat their heads. We're still working on that. Then work faster, goddammit! Oh, and when that finally does happen, could I bring my cat girl girlfriend into this not pet friendly apartment? I think the real question is, should you? I think outdoor cat girls are better. Oh my god, how many times do we have to have this discussion? There's no such thing as an outdoor cat girl! Outdoor cat girls are a danger to both themselves and the environment. They have significantly shorter lifespans and disturb the ecosystem. If your cat girl wants to go outside, you accompany her. Hold your hand, or better yet, let her ride piggyback. But do not let her go outside alone. My friend let her cat girl go outside unaccompanied once, and she disturbed a magical girl battle, throwing off the balance of the universe. Please do not let your cat girl outside. Um... Excuse me. Magical girls are an invasive species, and only free hunting by cat girls controls their population at all. All right, listen. Introducing an apex species like cat girls into an environment to take care of an invasive species never works, because it always results in them ignoring what we intend for them to hunt in favor of easier, more accessible endemic species, like a self-insert harem anime protagonist. Oh, God! We saw that enough when they tried introducing rival antagonists to take care of the invasive shoujo protagonist population in Australia, and they just wound up going after a completely different species entirely! The side ponytail moms! An environment with no natural predators. Y'all really gotta do some research into the history of introducing invasive anime species into your environments, and keep your cat girls indoors, where they're safer and unable to cause environmental harm. What the fuck did I just read? I, am I stroking? Okay, stay out of PM Seymour's videos or draw 25. <sighs> Sully pulls the entire deck of Uno cards into my chest. You're gonna need more cards. Oh man. Oh golly. Oh lord. Oh jeez. Oh man, I sure fucked up my Skyrim so badly. Oh god. Oh god. Luigi, this isn't we! I'm back from vacation. Let's do this. Show my friends how I eat bananas sometimes, and it was a unilateral. Thanks. I hate it. They hate it. And yet it is the most brilliant way I've ever seen a banana eaten in my life. Today I learn horses actually has up to 15 horse powers. These powers include horse levitation, horse pyrokinesis, and the scourge. Nobody is immune to the neck kiss. Well, that's how vampires get you. Yeah? And? Coward. White people baby naming culture peaked when Bella really named her kid Renemanemini. This is false information. Her name is Renegade. No, it's Remulod. Like, like, like the sauce. Spelling the admin. Next up, your word is Fergalicious. D -d -d definition Make them boys go loco. Do you reproduce by splitting? No. I cough up eggs like a Namekian. <laughs> My son! The term Arrow Ace is especially lovely because it also sounds like Arrow Ace. Are you an aromantic and asexual, or are you an incredibly skilled and deadly archer? Surprise! You're both! Literally nothing is funnier than living your life with a cat in a sweater vest. Constantly feels like he's about to offer to do my taxes. I was trying to finish this post while I sat in a bar stool next to mine beeping at me for attention. And when the attention didn't come quickly enough, he put his paws on my shoulder and slapped me in the face. Which is, again, infinitely funnier when your cat is wearing a sweater vest. It's like I'm being bullied by the world's smallest accountant. My grasp on my gender identity is currently equivalent to my grasp on what day of the week it is. Nebulous. Constantly shifting. Not quite completely discernible, but somehow overwhelmingly Tuesday. Today I learn, even though newborn kittens are born blind, deaf, and helpless, they still hiss at potential threats. The bastard instinct. Why that well-dressed fellow in the corner? We call him the Gentleman Thief. Why, just last year he single-handedly stole more than 40 gentlemen. Not to be confused with the gentleman thief, who was very kind while stealing your man. D Jolene? You sigh and all your teeth click around like wind chimes. This is an act of malice! Ah, uh, I love the smell of bisexuality in the morning. Mom, I need to tell you something. I'm mixed berry sorbet. <gasps> when someone compliments me. Ah yes, when someone compliments me, I too make a loud jarring noise. Hey, I like your shirt. Being a creative on Tumblr culture is going through all the 24 reblogs on your post with 357 notes just to get enough serotonin to get through your day by reading what the five gods sent people who left tags wrote. I mean, yeah.
They have learned rather quickly that I provide breakfast on a regular schedule. Was five minutes late and got told for it. Yo, tell your slippers they need to calm down. You know how, like, some artists and stuff will draw tears as, like, really big droplets and stuff? I want that. I'm tired of crying in these tiny, stupid tears. I want large tears that are, like, the size of my fingernails. That's the good stuff. Big teary goth girlfriend. Friendly reminder that Ed ate an entire slide because there was a pebble in his shoe. Well, what else are you supposed to do? From here on out, to avoid confusion, I'm going to end any joking statement I write on Tumblr.com with a large high-res photograph of a clown to indicate that it's written in jest. You, you're joking, right? Do you see a clown? Okay, current John Mulaney is great, but seeing pictures from his childhood is just so adorable. POV, your Princess Diana. For a split second, I thought this was the one third. Don't you ever compare John Mulaney to the once there again. I know some naughty words that really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well, then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> Tradition is just peer pressure from dead people. I want this on a bumper sticker! Pregnancy is a hoax. The baby sprouts out of the ground. I've seen it happen. People pretend to be pregnant for clout. It started with one woman named DVD, and people have been chasing the same high since. I'm sorry, I meant Eve. I got tiny little hands, but they're beautiful. Adrian Shine, the leader of the Loch Ness Project, looks exactly like how I imagined the leader of the Loch Ness Project looked like. What a masterpiece of a photo. He looks like he knows everything. Sitting here having to rub feet on a calf to get a nervous mom to lick it and bond with it, the human equivalent would be rubbing some good food on a baby so a mom loves it. The doctor hands me a newborn son and I decide I don't like him, actually. So he just hits him with a pie like clowns do. My favorite thing about the contrast between early Christianity and ancient Greek and Roman religion is that the difference in the ways they think and talk about their gods is really similar to the difference between how dog and cat owners talk about their pets. Early Christians are like, This is our god, he's omnipotent and omniscient, and he's better than all of the other gods. The Greeks are like, this is our party god Dionysus. He got into an argument with a bunch of frogs once and we love him. Fuck silverfish. If those are the little bug things that look like centipedes, then yeah, fuck them. Oh my fucking god. I hate them so much. Oh, in Minecraft, I thought you were talking about like real ones. Wait, what do you mean real ones? Where do you think the name came from? Oh, I don't know, Tumblr user Plump9000. I sort of thought they weren't real, like Endermen or Creepers! Implying Endermen aren't real. Really not liking what you're implying, but- People who hide their phone from you while using it probably don't have anything bad. They probably just don't want to be judged. I mean, I just want to look at my food, okay? No, I bet people don't understand that I'm joking 800% of the time. Honestly, I can't tell if you're joking. 800% isn't a thing, you know that, right? If I had five dollars, every time my anxiety brain acted up over nothing, I'd have a consistent income. Yeah. I have this weird theory that some people are drawn towards each other because their atoms were near each other when the universe was created. And over time, the same atoms keep coming back together. Did, did you just scientifically explain soulmates? Took a nap and had a dream that I got a hyper-realistic tattoo of a band-aid, just so that I could cover it with a real band-aid. When people would ask what happened, I'd say, it it It's kind of weird. Are you sure you want to see? And then I'd dramatically rip the band-aid off to reveal my tattoo of a band-aid. Classic astral plane me. Oh. Oh, don't tempt me like this. Finding out Bo Burnham is 6'5 and not 5'11 has absolutely killed me today. The concept of some Goliath twink Pacing around the stage yelling absurdities and throwing glitter is tricking my fight or flight response. I'm sorry, he's what now? Me sitting at the table with a six foot lobster, a massive eel, a tree possessed by a dead child, a cactus that murders people, a ninja acorn, and a ghost with two floating arms. Ah, oh, yes, good old family dinner. I see you talking about Pokemon over there. Kids these days are such wimps. Back in my day, the sky was red and I was scared. Oh shit, it's red! You know who's gay? Paul, the real estate novelist who never had time for a wife, and Davy, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. <gasps> New headcanon. Everyone in that song is gay, except the piano man, who has no idea he's playing at a gay bar, and the staff and regulars are having a betting pool on how long it'll take for him to finally figure it out! So far, John is ahead. 
Okay, but that makes the man what are you doing here line way funnier! The hot new character trend in gaming, an amorphous capsule with legs who may or may not be planning to screw over their companions. I don't go to either, but I love them. Gentle reminder that the human eye is naturally drawn by noise and movement. So next time you walk into a crowd or a bit late into a lecture or something like that, they're not staring at you or judging. It's just an instinctive reaction that has nothing to do with you doing anything wrong. This really helps my anxiety, thank you. It's time to stop mourning the death of Tumblr. For I have made Tumblr 2! Ow! Oh, shit, it's Tumblr 2, baby! Tumblr 2 is a direct violation of copyright on Tumblr 1. Sincerely by David Carp. <laughs> David Carp has the signature of a seven-year-old writing their own name with a computer mouse and MS Paint that has the sensitivity too high up. How the fuck do people still fall for pyramid schemes? Just don't open the fucking sarcophagus and the mummy can't hypnotize you. Seriously, how hard is that to fuck up? Gen X told me you have to pick your battles. Gen Z, well I'm full of rage and I'm picking all of them! Adopt me. Clears negative energy in the rooms. Oh. My god. It's a quartz goodbye! Why did Healy's die? Why were we so afraid of progress? They got banned literally everywhere. Healy's didn't die. They were killed by the government. Make no mistake, not only am I party rocking, but I'm also in the house tonight. Are you shuffling? Every day. Clown names, and clown names that are evil. Ah, my mutuals versus my block list. How dare you be funnier than my post! Some fools be like, I play games to escape my responsibilities, then pick a tank or healer. In my greatest fantasies, I am able to help people. Oh. There's only one mountain. Whatever is the tallest part of this Earth planet. Everything else is just the base of the mountain. I disagree. Okay, but think about agreeing with me next time, worm. <laughs> Guys, Pucky's onto something here. A cunning vampire door-to-door -door salesperson who stands in the people's doorway and talks until they find a convenient moment to drop their pen. And the person picks it up and the vampire says, oh, thank you. And the person says, you're welcome. And the vampire smiles a big fancy grin and steps inside. And that's this vampire's modus operandi for decades. And then the language starts to change. And suddenly millennials have homes and the vampire thanks them and they say, oh, no problem. And the vampire's like, that was not the plan. Honestly, the most unbelievable part of this is millennials have hopes. The second most unbelievable thing is that the millennials just don't offer themselves up to die. One of our players accidentally mispronounced another character's name as Shakira. DM without missing a beat. Your hips have permanent disadvantage on all deception checks. Get it. Guys, guys, guys. Important announcement. Look at them. Look at them babies. Why do these people say chicken as a term for coward? Have you ever met a chicken? Because those things will fuck you up, man. I love it when my friends send me memes of fandoms I'm not in. Like, great meme, love them, very funny. But what the fuck are they talking about, though? Google Translate post says, I am glad my lord sent me a letter which I did not follow. Love them as a good letter. So funny, but what? This is better than my post. Norwegian cat chasing a fox. Look at those majestic idiots. I love that you can clearly tell from the expression who is chasing who. As a German kid, I used to wonder why our radio stations like to play the American National Anthem so much. Until a friend explained to me that Country Roads Take Me Home is not, in fact, your guys' national anthem. Whoops. Tony Hawk is like fucking Perry the Platypus, because if I saw him without a skateboard, I'd be like, oh man. Then the second he picks up a skateboard, I'd be like, Tony Hawk! My toddler almost never addresses me as mom or mommy. He only does when he's annoyed or angry. I know he can. He just doesn't. So this morning, he was following me around calling me a Dexpa over and over and over. Holding my face, mouth in front of my eyes, absolutely addressing me. Finally, he said, Azexpa, play Baby Shack. And I realized what was going on. My mom got a Fire TV cube for Christmas, calling me Alexa and demanding I play Baby Shark. So this is his first complete verbal request for something, and he called me Alexa. Why the fuck? This is a short horror story. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, and to be honest, it isn't that weird. It's a behavior that needs correcting, to be sure, but it isn't that strange that he learned to do that. The toddler has probably repeatedly witnessed the adult say, Alexa, thing, and noticed that request almost always gets honored. In his mind, he's connecting the phrase with a desired task being completed, so he's trying to imitate the adults around him in order to complete his desired task. He doesn't know any better because he's a toddler and doesn't recognize Alexa as being a name. 
He just assumes that's what you say when you want something. Because that's what the adults around him have taught him. He's mimicking. And it's perfectly normal and an expected and healthy behavior. If you don't like it, then you should probably blame the startling amount of people that use things like Alexa. Like, literally, this is happening because of the adults and has nothing to do with the toddlers. What they're doing is completely normal child behavior. In his toddler mind, Alexa is a super effective version of please. My experience with digital art. Merge the layer, crunk! Wrong layer! Why do we even have that layer? You're gay, they shouted. Dude, you're gay! I ignored them. It wasn't until I got home that I realized my gay had escaped! Those kind men were trying to tell me he was running away! Ha <laughs> ha! Grammar jokes. Juliet gazed across her balcony and said, It's over, Romeo. I have the high ground. Welcome to Applebee's. Would you like apples or bees? Bees? Hey, pick of the bees! <laughs> I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies that the devil is a northerner or that Georgia is lower than hell. As a southerner, yes. Terrible character ideas. A monk based on a European Christian archetype. They have sworn a sacred oath to defeat the giant snail plaguing the countryside. A dragonborn desperately trying to convince the party that they're actually a cockra with a skin condition that made their feathers fall out. Your standard horny bard, but they play a washboard. A sentient hat! Piloting a mannequin! A dark elf who's afraid of the dark and terrified of spiders. A peasant farmer who joined the adventure because they're going through a midlife crisis and want to find themselves. A druid who got involved because they're the party's weed dealer. And a werewolf who doesn't believe in the moon. LP, change the titles to great! When will the clown settings happen again? That was fun. Look at the mirror and they can start today. Shit, I wasn't ready for a murder in this. What's the most cursed but cute fun fact you know, Pucky? Cats, the furry little critter everyone loves, actually poops. How, how's that cursed? What, you like poop? You little poop lover, gross. If you die because I poisoned you, how is that my fault? Like, I'm sorry you aren't immune to my poisons. I think that's genuinely something you need to work on. Fix yourself before blaming others. Do you get it? Writing prompt. On everyone's 18th birthday, they receive a letter from their future selves. Some receive long messages about their future lovers or messages about changes they would have made. Yours contains nothing but a small list of locations and the words, Never visit. Well, you'd think I'd know myself better than this, you say, typing the first set of coordinates into your GPS. It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong, goat! You mean unpaid internships? I agree. Go for the printer honor, it's worth more than gold. <gasps> Fantastic advice. Elephants react to humans the same way that humans react to puppies. They think we're cute. My life has no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute! Hey, psst. Hey, kids. You wanna buy some drugs? That's basically the first interaction between humans and a snake ever. Yo, check out this knowledge fruit. It'll totally be the best thing ever. Wants to lead you down to a path of righteousness? I'm gonna lead you down to the path that rocks! Ah, oh, yes. Irish, England, and Australian. The holy grave slash trinity of... Wait, what are they saying? I'm sorry, do you have a fucking problem with the way we speak? Well, heads up. If you try to make a candle with food coloring, the food coloring's gonna sink to the bottom of the glass. And when the flame eventually reaches the bottom, all the food coloring will catch fire and become one giant tall flame that you cannot possibly blow out and the glass will start to crack. And then you throw your tea on it in a panic then the extremely hot food coloring will boil and sizzle horribly, then the glass will shatter. Please take my words on this. Wait, what did you do, OP? I missed it! Scuba. This is the English word I want to get tattooed on my wrist. It means to keep breathing even though the water rises all around you. English is such a mystical, exotic language. They can fit so much meaning into so small a word. Well... He's not wrong. You know, I can handcuff newborns to show how the law works at an early age so they don't commit crimes! So I got fired today. It's funny how straight men are often intimidated by butches when really, femmes are the scariest lesbians. Butches will maybe throw a punch at you after telling you to back off a few times, while femmes will downright stick a heel in your eye. It's a common misconception that butches protect their femmes from other people. In reality, they are protecting other people from the femmes. How dare you hide this in the tags? Concept. Cowboy hat with cat ears. So you're just gonna scroll past without saying meowdy. 
Studio Ghibli once threatened a localization team by mailing them a katana because of how heavily edited Valley of the Wind was in the US. Dissatisfied with Warriors of the Wind, Miyazaki adopted a strict no edits clause for further foreign releases of Studio Ghibli films. On hearing Miramax co-chairman Horrible Person Weinstein would attempt to edit Princess Mononoke to make it more marketable, Toshio Suzuki sent an authentic katana with a simple message. No. Cuts. I aspire to be this ride or die for my works. Suddenly you're 21, and you're screaming along in your car to all the songs you used to listen to when you were sad in middle school. And everything is different, but everything is good. Man, this post keeps me going. Writing prompt. Your phone suddenly receives an emergency alert that tells you to seek shelter immediately. Your pet slowly walks up to you, looks you dead in the eye, and says, The time has come. Follow me. Man, I have like a fish. Where the fuck are you going to take me? The back corner of your tank? The Shape of Water, 2017. I hate this whole backlash, like, you say Touchstar, but you actually mean horny. No! I mean, when I was getting my hair cut, there was a moment where the hairdresser tilted my head to the side, and the top of my head brushed his chest, and my brain short-circuited with endorphins because it thought I was being held. That kind of touch starved. Hey, Seymour! Did you know that Michaela Lodge did a stream of playing Yandere Simulator with the voice of Budo? It's really hilarious, highly suggest. <sighs> Who's gonna tell them? I have no idea what I'm missing here, but I have a feeling it's hilarious. Well, what username where? The person Michaela Laws was streaming with that day was me. I am the voice of Budo. And they didn't know. Throwback to 2016 when I told my sister they're making another planet Earth, and she was just like raising an eyebrow and said in this absolutely deadpan, condescending tone, Well, where are they getting the dirt for it? And I had to specify I meant Planet Earth, the nature documentary, not the celestial body. Yeah, well, I think dragons suck. I will kick your ass so hard, your vertebrae will pop out of your mouth one by one like a Pez dispenser. Day one of me asking how Doofenshmirtz found out Perry's name when Perry doesn't speak. He was sent an email by OWCA when Perry was first assigned. Guys, I found a porn lore on TikTok of all places! OWCA deadass said Yo Hides for sending a platypus to kick your ass. His name is Perry XOXO later. That's probably the most Phineas and Ferb joke ever. To all the content creators out there, how do you overcome the feeling that what you are creating is cringy? Start doing it on purpose and it slowly becomes unironic. This comment is too powerful. And how dare you figure out my secrets? Shame on you. Petition to change, thanks I hate it to, I appreciate this. Imagine biting into a steak and there being a hot Pop-Tart in there. How do you, how do you even come up with this stuff? Personal experience. Just imagining. Just sitting late at night, eating a steak, and you have to shout the words, HOLY SHIT A POP TART! Tumblr is so awful. You have all these people making up obviously fake stories for attention, and no one pays any mind to the real heroes like me who beat up a volcano. Why is nobody talking about this? I'm crying because my friend just pointed out that this werewolf has a daughter with the red hood. Fire emblem, you cheeky little scoundrels, you! Someone, do you mind if I say something off topic? Me and ADHD gremlin. I've never been on topic in my life. Please, continue. Take your anxiety meds with Red Bull to create Slow Fast. The hot new emotion teens are raving about. Slow Fast. It feels incredibly bad. But wouldn't they just cancel each other out? No. They are both working so very much, and I cannot stop it. Any outfit is unisex if it's bizarre enough. Leave people too confused to question your gender. You can't. Just leave this in the tags, God. Yoink is the opposite of yeet. But it's just as fast. The Lord heateth, and the Lord yoinketh away. Well, there's my eulogy sorted. Went out for a Chinese meal with my family last night. At the end of the night, I was looking through the bill and found this. It's worth mentioning at this point, I told the staff I have a severe seafood allergy. No, <laughs> no fucking shrimp or you die. Now this is what I call responsible restaurant service. Well done. Dropped a small potato and started crying. How's everyone else doing tonight? I'm on floor. Putting Hamilton on shovel is risky because a soft song like Dear Theodosia will end and suddenly there's deafening gunshot and you'll jump and be all lead to your yield. Much like the phoenix, a new dad shall rise from the sawdust her bone. Writing prompt. You have the ability to freeze time and explore the world while it's frozen. As far as you know, no one else has this power. One day, while you're wandering through your frozen school, you notice that someone is following you. Yeah, it's called a shadow. You think you're clever, huh? Fuck you! God, you made writing prompt cry. My brain is sad because I miss my girlfriend. 
but I don't have a girlfriend. I never dated anyone, and I'm almost crying. Hello? It's called yearning. Oh. Go, my son, Balsamic Vinegar Jr. Watch him turn into a supervillain. This in in plus this in plus this implies that your name is Balsamic Vinegar. The law allows me to be whoever I damn please. Why do you both sound like Dragon Ball Z villains then? After a freak accident at the Bible warehouse, the only surviving record of Christianity is Neon Genesis Evangelion. God damn it, Jesus! Get in the fucking robot! I like to dip my cookies in Mountain Dew because it gives them an ever so tasty, tangy flavor if left in there for the right amount of time. Well, this has become a candidate for my least favorite post! I have an idea. Tinder. But you find yourself an arch nemesis. Ooh. I love it when pets fall asleep on me because I can't ask anyone to do anything for me. I'm sorry, I can't get up. I've been chosen! Okay, just a heads up. If theoretically, your therapist tells you that they're going to try and get you tested for yet another mental disorder, saying, wow, am I going to get a full bingo card, is not an appropriate response. And also, theoretically, neither is, this just seems like so many. Am, am I allowed to have all of these? <sighs> you did that, didn't you? C2 for anxiety, B2 for depression, A2 for ADHD. Hey, look at that, I won! Not so fast! I have A2, B2, C2, and I also have B1 for depersonalization disorder and B3 for critical imposter syndrome. And not to mention that earlier, I had A1 anorexia blotted, but that ink had faded now. <gasps> Beat that! They can't kill you! Please don't romanticize mental illnesses. This is a joke, but I'd rather not have any of these. Thank you. Remember when Dexter ate a giant burrito and thought he was going to die, but it turned out he just had to fart? I mean, haven't we all been there? I certainly have. <laughs> Either people with ADHD need to stop being so relatable, or I need to go see a doctor. And I don't want to go see a doctor. Now, I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but... Oh my god. Hearing the John Mulaney, do my friends hate me or do I just need to go to sleep bit is like the best thing to have happen for my mental health. Because every time I'm afraid my friends hate me, it's around the time I should be going the fuck to sleep. I read somewhere, if you feel like everyone hates you, you need to sleep. And if you feel like you hate everyone else, you need to eat. And it was honestly world shattering. And I wish I heard it years ago. Same. Given the common threads between things people on this website are inexplicably attracted to, pinstripe bow ties, really thin literal skeletons, I present to you the husband for everyone. This person is busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you fucking mind? D&D Handbook. Half-orcs? Evil. Every half-orc PC. He has huge muscles so he can hug his friends real tight. The D&D Handbook. Tieflings. More evil. Every tiefling PC. Gay party animal and a crop top and heels. The D&D Handbook. Drow. Extremely evil. Every drow PC. Drama thirsty fashion forward goth. D&D Pathfinder Handbook. Goblins. Unrepentantly evil. Every goblin PC. Chaotic, good, hungry, child. Facts. We need a more realistic D&D handbook. Panera, you had no right to take your broccoli cheddar soup, mix it into your mac and cheese, and tell me I can't order 20 bowls of them. One time I used my retail voice on a co-worker and she was like, don't use your customer voice on me. I know you're dead inside like the rest of us. It's just frightening and weird. The other day I asked for a table for two in my customer voice and the waitress squinted at me and I cleared my throat and said, <clears throat> sorry, was still in service mode. And she dropped hers. And we swapped stories about our day and my boyfriend was like, you two just became two entirely different people in 0.5 seconds. I can be bitching up a blue streak about a customer from hell while the store is empty. And when the phone rings, swap over to my retail voice practically in mid-sentence. I even have managers and salespeople from other stores and chains fooled into thinking I'm infinitely friendly and helpful. And my manager's husband thinks I'm one of the most professional people in the store. One assistant manager's daughter dubbed me Perky Pants because she's dealt with me over the phone and was shocked to the core when I dropped an F-bomb at her graduation picnic. The acting required in the service industry is beyond the pale. My cousin freaked when she came to see me at work because I was smiling and nice while helping someone who was asking insane questions and who basically forced me to walk them to the product and put it in their fucking hand, but I was nice as pie until I turned around to walk away and my demeanor changed back to normal and I muttered, what a fucking moron. 
under my breath as I got back to my cousin. She just looked at me shocked and said, no wonder you're so exhausted when you get home. This is actually referred to as emotional labor in criminology and is considered one of the hardest forms of labor. The art of bullshit is strong in the service industry. It certainly is. And I never want to go back. I usually wear these headphones that have wires connected to them, but they're still Bluetooth, and it's nice. But then I got these that are Bluetooth without any wires, and they're amazing. They kind of look like hearing aids if you don't know anything, and I think it's cool. They're really nice and slick and sound so well. So I flipped my hair and didn't realize the headphone clasp was tangled in my hair, and it came out and fell into the toilet. Rip. Someone would fire emblem. Only the goddess knows. Sothis, her mouth full of Doritos. Fuck you, Ariel, shit! Final Fantasy in a nutshell. Final Fantasy 1, four heroes break a time loop. Final Fantasy 2, Star Wars where the Emperor dies and then comes back as the devil and then dies again and then comes back as a god and then gets killed by Obi-Wan. Final Fantasy 3, four orphans fight a man who threw a hissy fit over his inheritance. Final Fantasy 4, Star Wars but the Emperor is a space ghost on the moon. Final Fantasy 5, evil giving tree and his gay lover fight a confused harem protagonist and his princesses. Final Fantasy VI, Star Wars, but the Emperor is killed and replaced by the Joker halfway through. Also, racism is bad. Final Fantasy VII, eco-terrorist recruit man with padded resume, discover corporate greed has caused a giant meteor to be elected, and they hold a recount. Final Fantasy VIII, a group of cadets find out they all lived at the same orphanage, amnesia to blame, and the lead may be dead. Final Fantasy IX, Star Wars, but the main characters are either clones or princesses. Also, Vivi is best boy. Final Fantasy X, Daddy Issues, the real sports story, with special guest Christian Guilt Complex. Final Fantasy XI, Giraffe and Friends stop the writers from erasing the game. Final Fantasy XII, Star Wars, but half the bad guys aren't actually that bad. Except Judge Bergen, that guy's a dick. Final Fantasy XIII, Being the Chosen One will kill your dating life. Final Fantasy XIV, Heroes Save the World from Bad Gameplay and Bugs. And Final Fantasy XV. A bachelor party goes very, very badly. Well, I see versus what the cat sees before I pet it. They associate the stance with love. Fear it. New cryptid. Exhausted woman at Starbucks. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you today? How much is it to fill a venti with espresso? Uh, I'm sorry? A venti cup. How much to fill it with espresso? Oh, uh, well, it'd be, I suppose, to, I... I, I only have a button for a quad. I don't have special pricing for like 20 ounces of espresso in a single drink. Press is the furthest thing from my mind right now. How many ad shots is that? It, it, it'd be a quad with <clears throat> uh, 16 additional shots. Help me. The rules to learning English. There are no rules. I see what you did there. My eyes are burning. No, 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 no. It's I see what you did there, not what. Do it right. Oh, I do it right, but I do not want to. I hate everything about this. Oh my god, he's turning the tiles brown. He needs to be contained. <gasps> it's an SCP. Fools. This was a white goat. You can see the white markings on him. He's been soaking up the brown and he's only got one square left. Let him finish his work. <sighs> He's stealing the brown. Rich people are like so easily convinced about ghosts. I remember growing up, it was near like this vacant lot. And whenever I broke a toy, instead of like going to face the wrath of my mother, I would just fucking bury it in that lot. And then sure enough, some dude tried to develop the land and found a ton of bird rotten and dolls and shit and told everyone it was haunted. It's been over a decade, and that lot is still vacant. You single-handedly tank the value of someone's prime real estate, and that makes me happy. As soon as I read this, I immediately started thinking of ways to do this on purpose to get cheap land, and I was five posts down my dash before I realized I was becoming a Scooby-Doo villain. Shit. You know, the kids these days will never know who the struggle. And this is not an exaggeration. Your download speed would slow down to the point where Windows would make this kind of absurd estimate. And you'd just sigh and, like, leave the room for a while. Because you couldn't use your computer while I was doing this for fear it would crash and lose all your progress. And then you'd come back for, like, 40 minutes and maybe it would say, like, 52 years. Or maybe it would say three minutes. Who knew? Not fucking Windows. I am going to just say it. The sands is like Perry the Platypus at this point. A skeleton? One pupil glows blue. Sands the skeleton! Hey guys, check it out. Spinning a vinyl record so fast that it shatters. Wow. 
That was record breaking speed. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, no, this is the Rock Dystopia future. We were about to be gay outlaws in a nuclear desert. Give it a few weeks. Does anyone remember that time when, like, all the Univision leaders gathered to take down Team Plasma with their Pokemon? Bryson opted for hand to hand combat instead. I mean, I would too if my Pokemon was Cryogonal. Guys, guys. <laughs> I want a live action B movie, but instead of adapting the animated movie, I want it to be 90 minutes of Jerry Seinfeld harassing random people in a dollar store B costume. <laughs> I would watch that movie in a heartbeat. Oh, you have ADHD? Name one. Name one. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, right, 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 right. It was, uh, name one time you handled criticism without crying. Okay, you listen here, you little shit. How dare you? Yo, nothing shows the face of pain like that one picture of Elmo crammed in a jar full of pickle juice. Uh, I'm sorry, w what? Pickle me, Elmo. <laughs> the period in like the mid 20th century where the middle class suddenly had access to unprecedented food variety, but like no idea what to do with it, and they ended up inventing hundreds of doomed dishes like lime cheese jello salad or ham and banana hollandaise is thematically akin to the Cambrian explosion. The end of this post punched me in the face, but god damn it, you're not wrong. Oh, not elegant enough to be a vampire, but not jock enough to be a werewolf. Problem it is. <laughs> and now Big the Cat, but he's a sophisticated gentleman. Enjoy. I seem to have a minor wound inflicted upon myself. It's quite uncharitable to oppress my comrades. Something is nipping on the line! I am certain it was a misfortunate action upon their part. I have come down with a case of the color we associate as sad. I mayhaps have a proposal. A assembled embrace, perhaps? My dearest friend Frogbert, where have you gone? I am contractually obligated to go hastily. Every single odd number has an E in it. Oh dear god, what have you done? Listen. Um, not all of them. 30 and 50 aren't spelled with the letter E in it. Oh, father god. If you can split a number in half evenly, it's even. Uh, 30 and 50 are odd. Three, <laughs> 15 plus 15 equals 30, and 25 plus 25 equals 30. 25 plus 25 equals 30? You sure about that? Lord have mercy. Okay, bye! 30 days in 2018, shaking my goddamn head. <laughs> Are you serious? One, three, five, nine. And since everything else after that is a variant of these numbers, then all odds have the letter E. Um, you forgot seven! It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> what, what is going on? <laughs> I just can't even... You whole ass forgot about eight! A number with an E, and it's pretty fucking even! Why would eight be brought up if it's even in a post about odds? The post said every single odd number has an E in it, not Every single number with an E is odd. What the fuck? Three days until 2019, we're still here. Happy New Year's Eve. I forgot to bring this flaming dumpster into 2019 so future generations can see what a mistake Tumblr was. Er, uh, guys, two is odd and doesn't have an E. I'm just saying. D Did you just deadass try to tell me two is odd? I'm fucking crying. Just throw, throw the whole goddamn website away. Reblogging for the last one. The one thing I notice is that no matter how much you want to throw away this site, you just can't. Two is odd. <laughs> fucking scream. Wait, what about zero? That's not a number, no. Uh, okay, but hear me out. 50 and 30 make up for the fact they have no E, by the way. They're pronounced 30 and 50. Bro, why do 30 and 50 matter? They're fucking even. What the actual fuck is happening? One is an even number. I'm gonna smack you. Negative 30 and negative 50 have E in them. Zero isn't a number. It can't be divided by two, though, can it? Um, it can. Zero divided by two <laughs> equals zero. I just don't 
No, no, no. Odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. OD numbers, huh? Anything that ends with a zero, two, four, six, eight is even and the rest is odd. One, three, seven, nine. Stop freaking out, y'all. You forgot five! Dude, what about four? What about it? Th that doesn't have an E in it! That's because it's even! Are you guys okay? I'm fucking sobbing right now. Fuck. God! I'm honestly so confused right now. What is going on? This is the height of our stupidity. It has to be, or future generations cannot exist. And that is why not only understanding math is important, but understanding English comprehension is important. I made this a whole episode, Jesus Christ. I have a hot wedding idea. The worst man. It's his duty to try and prevent the wedding at all costs. And the best man and worst man engage in spy versus spy shenanigans until the wedding is done. But don't forget the maid of dishonor, who spends the entire wedding doing the same thing as the worst man, except her nemesis is the maid of honor. The best man and maid of honor can work together, but the worst man and maid of dishonor are actively trying to kill each other on top of stopping the wedding. That sounds fun. Is your laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trust you. Oh, do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Jesus Christ, that took a turn. You're beautiful in your own special way. Actually, I'm very ugly. Okay, then. I was wrong. <laughs> hey, guys. Look at this ugly-ass Smelly over here decided he was too ugly for Tumblr. I see. I see how it is, Argo. Writing prompt. Every year, the richest person in America is declared the winner of capitalism. They get a badge. And then, all of their wealth is donated to charity, and they have to start over at zero. This procedure results in the world's richest people donating excessive amounts of money ahead of the event and attempt to avoid being hit by real-life blue shell, thus adding to the overall annual donation. Y'all think this is a joke, but that's literally how taxes are supposed to work. Remember that you can't save everyone. But remember that you have to try. Excuse me while I do some normal stuff, but in a manner that makes it obvious that there is something very wrong with my brain. God, pets love eating meat-flavored cereal with no milk. Dog food doesn't taste like meat, to be honest. It's not for you, King! This pepper is way too small. Can you please put a little blanket or a tiny sweater on him? Because he's a little chilly. Get out! Buy 365 near-identical solid-color shirts that range to the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day, but in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch! I'm so in! The average faces of the members of the 116th United States Congress. It's him. Jerry Mandering! Okay, but seriously, that's creepy. Halloween. How did I scrub this bad? Guys, I'm so pumped for Halloween. Get ready for the Scala Ella Elton Wars. Yeah. <laughs> what is the point of that little pocket inside the pocket in your jeans? You can't fit anything in there. So you don't have change giggling around in your pocket. <laughs> this pocket's so small. Shut up, change. God, you're so annoying. Bar the Warrior was for pocket watches. Fuck. Disappearing under mysterious circumstances. I want to start appearing under mysterious circumstances. Walking through a deserted eerie forest, I'm there. Reporting an abandoned 1930s mine that no human has set foot in for 55 years, I'm there too. Touching down on Mars, well guess whose annoying face you're gonna see poking out from behind the rover. Ah, so you're every monster in a horror movie. Guys, okay, Stephen King legitimately looks like Cindy Lou Who's dad. Le legitimately? You mock him because you know he's right. Yo man doesn't have the mental strength to caramelize onions. Yo man thinks it takes five to ten minutes to caramelize onions. What the fuck is caramelizing onions? Have you sociopaths forgotten that apples exist? Do, do you think caramelizing onions is putting caramel on onions? You literally aren't equipped to care about every possible opinion on this planet. Your mother telling you that you're beautiful isn't a lie. Your friend telling you your art is cool isn't biased. The fact that you have people around you to tell you you're great means you've been socialized properly. The douche on Instagram or Tumblr ain't cooking your dinner, bringing you your PJs to the hospital, or giving you a lift home. You aren't psychologically equipped to give a shit 
about as many opinions on social media exposes you to. We have never been more exposed to other people's opinions, and that's what's making us depressed. You care, and that's natural. We've been programmed to care about what other people think. But no one is lying when they say they think you're great. They do think that. Remember that, repeat that, and embrace that. Embrace it, damn you! Okay, let's talk about himbos. A himbo must, must be kind, beefy, and stupid. Only kind and beefy? Well, that's just a hunk. Only beefy and stupid? That's just a jock. Only kind and stupid? That's just a decent man. Look at this graph. You see this? Write it down. You think seagulls feel regret? Because I just witnessed one swallow half a pancake in less than a second. Seagulls only have one emotion, and it is hubris. Welcome to Australia, where a fast food restaurant literally made a mirrored reflective seagull-proof packet for their fries so they don't goddamn try to fly down and steal your fries. And you think I'm joking, right? Fright. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The Q&A on Hunger Jack's website makes this even better. What if I encounter a particularly brave seagull? Run. Okay, hear me out. A Lord of the Rings game? But you play as the ring, throwing yourself wantonly into the path of unsuspecting folk and slowly corrupting their minds as the game progresses. It's a lovely morning in Middle-earth, and you are Hobo Ring. Lying in the bottom of a river? Press Y to glitter seductively. You've heard of one-shots, now get ready for none-shots! It's when you think of an idea for a fic and then you don't write it. <laughs> So we're looking at maps in class today, and the teacher had zoomed in on China, and one classmate proceeded to yell, Yo, China's looking thick! Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheep. Please peel your sheep! Okay, things are awful and will remain awful for a very long time. So here's a picture of two chickens with little handmade knitted capes on. Someone must love these chickens a whole lot to make them little chicken capes. They look so warm and lovely in their little chicken capes and I love them. So here's how my day goes. I open Tumblr, I talk to myself, then I leave. My grandfather needed to work hard on becoming a degenerate gambler in order to lose everything to card debts. Youngsters these days have everything handed to them and they still complain. Did I make credit card debt, but I actually love this. And all I got out of it was this really tacky fiddle. Respect the fucking himbo, you mongrel! Did you just call Satan a himbo? Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold with a shovel for exactly six weeks and five days? This is a headline on an actual news website. Wow, these Beach Boy lyrics are different than I remember. Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold, what? Assorted cheese. Hell, yes. Are we not going to talk about the poem below that? The sky is dark and the wind is cold. The night is young before it's old and gray. We will know the thrill of it all. Brian Freery, One Piece 599. 599! Oh my god, you guys! Steve can't sleep when there's enemies around in Minecraft. But he could sleep when brawling in Smash Brothers. In conclusion, Steve considers the characters in Smash Brothers his friends. Thank you! Only to be betrayed by them immediately and deliberately. Guys, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And also stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both music and comedic industries? Yes, yes they are. Man and women. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. I never want context. Oh my god. They sprang this on us in our old church years ago. And my family has never let this joke die. Okay, so here's the stupid gender essentialist metaphor. Women are like spaghetti because their thoughts noodle all over the place. Men are like waffles because their thoughts are in boxes. Men aren't bad listeners, they just can't keep up with the conversation when women are noodling topics so fast and they have to keep switching boxes. Also, when a woman asks a man what he's thinking, he says nothing. Women just don't understand that some of the man's boxes literally have nothing in them. <laughs> anyway, if you think me and my brothers and my mom don't constantly give each other sad, tragic faces and said, I'm sorry, my waffle box is empty today, and noodle faster, and you're feeling it being a waffle, and I want to be clear, I'm a plate of spaghetti, pretty much indiscriminately in all directions all the time, 
you'd be wrong. Occasionally, the context of a Dadaist post makes it even better. What the hickety heck? The head of Frodo, Heronimus Bosch, or the Garden of Earthly Delights, 1515. No fucking way. 16th century Goomba. Writing prompt! In the afterlife, souls can see how many living people still know you once you existed. You have lived a fairly normal life. Finally saw the count drop to zero just 200 years after your death. 500 years later, 95% of the Earth's total population suddenly knows about you! And all they know is I sold really, really shitty copper. <laughs> God, I laughed so unreasonably hard over this. Okay, context! There was this dude named Yenasser who lived in like the 1700s BC ancient Babylon. And he was a merchant who sold copper. We know his name because there exists cuneiform clay tablets containing records of complaints about his extremely shitty stuff he sold to people. We actually have multiple complaint tablets about the shitty, shitty copper this guy sold. They were found in a room in what is believed to possibly be the ruins of his own house. Basically, this guy from ancient Babylon sold super shitty copper and then kept the complaints people wrote to him about his garbage goods and services. I mean, wouldn't you? That's fucking funny. I love capitalizing words that don't need to be capitalized at all. So that you have to read them in that important voice. Can I call you daddy? No, no, absolutely not. Get out. Silly putty implies the existence of serious putty. I believe that is called C4. On a scale of oobleck to C4, how serious is your putty? The way this entire can of Coke fits exactly in this Coke glass. Jesus Christ, it's 1 a.m. and I had a solid minute where I stared at this and thought someone had peeled the coke. What game devs think are tough choices in games? You have to kill this person or spare them. What tough choices in games actually are? You know, this armor will make you more powerful, but it's ugly. Now, fuck that! I ain't saving the world if I can't look fucking cute, dude! So last year, we did a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream in drama class. And at the last huge rehearsal... We convinced our technician to play Despacito for the fairy dance instead of the usual track. The fairies ended up T-posing around Titiana, who started Fortnite dancing. I'm sure that Shakespeare would have wanted this. Do you guys ever think about how weird it would be if Mickey Mouse's name was actually Michael? Like, how weird would it be if one day Minnie called him Michael Mouse because she was so upset with him? Because I think about it sometimes. Okay, so I've just been informed that Mickey's full name is Michael Theodore Mouse. And that Minnie's is Minerva Mouse. I, I don't know what to do with this information, but I feel like I know something forbidden now. Well, now I feel like this is a good time to share the fact that Donald Duck's middle name is Fauntleroy. What? The f Mother bought fruit that smells terrible, so I tried to cover it with perfume and now it's worse. Moral of the story, don't try to cover up an unbearable smell with another unbearable smell. Because instead of canceling out, they just mix together and create another new unbearable smell. Gross. Oh god, I'm gonna fuck up this pronunciation, but whatever! Pieces of Viking pottery with traces of cats and dog paws seen at the Mosaic de Normandy at Cane Castle. So back in the day, pets already ruined their owner's artwork. My sis who took the photo? Um, ruined? More like made better. You know, it's very humanizing to imagine some poor potter in the past screaming, No! Bad kitty! Somewhere in Scandinavia. I mean, if it was ruined, the artisan wouldn't have baked it. That's... that's a delightful point you just made. This person chose to bake and keep their cat's artistic contribution. I was in Spain once, and there was a building with a tile that had been laid down in Roman times. It had a dog's paw print. And the thing was that after the dog did the print, the wet tile was dried, and then fired, and then shipped and then laid. And for 2,000 years, every person who encountered that tile thought, aw, paw print, and kept it. This vast agreement of thousands of people over all these centuries in memory of a dog only one of us could have met. I loved that tile. My algebra teacher is Pregante and asked my class for baby names. So she called on me and I panicked and said, Luigi. It was on my phone and art. I read this and laughed out loud and a kid next to me was like, who are you texting? And I panicked and said, Luigi. Guys, this should be a thing. Every time someone asks you something, you just panic and say Luigi. Oh yeah, Luigi, at the disco. I mean, 
Imposters should be able to read ghost chat. Imagine how much more fun it'd be to go, who killed my friend, and see them shouting at you from beyond the grave. They should also be able to see the ghosts. I already enjoy haunting imposters that kill me, but could you imagine being chased around the ship by angry souls who can do nothing more than slightly inconvenience you and shout at you? I believe that's Hamlet. I didn't expect 2020 to be the year of cat boys, but at this point it may as well be. I hate this post. I can't even go look for context. Where do I go? I don't have enough clues. Catboy 2020 doesn't give me helpful information no matter where I search for it. This is so infuriating. Like, I'm a detective that found a body in the back alley of an amusement park, but instead of an ID, it's just a note card with yeah written on it. I'm sorry, I saw like three Catboy memes in my dash one weekend and assumed that it meant it was the new meme. Well, I hate to tell you, Goad. It is now. Me writing dialogue. What is man? But a vessel through which a higher entity may see. What is his purpose? Must he find a purpose? We are but stardust. The universe comprehending itself. Me writing action. They ran real fast from the bad man, legs hurty. Me writing action. Her legs pounded against the earth. The familiar jolt grounding her like nothing else could. Magic. Gods. Royalty. She didn't know anything about that. But running? That's been something she's been doing since day one. Me writing dialogue. I don't know, man. What you want to do? I don't know. What you think? Hey, man. I don't know. Me writing action. Room go boom. Me writing dialogue. Nobody, nope. That ain't dope. Ah, the holy trinity of writing. No, kitten food goes in the bowl, then food goes in you. Aw, oh, you seem to confuse a step. If I fits, I sits. Just an October reminder. Werewolves are usually very sore after transforming. Give them a heating pad and some gentle massages, and be sure to keep plenty of food and water on hand. Vampires don't mind the colder weather, so remind them to wear jackets when they go out at night so that they'll blend in better with the cold populace. The monster that lives under your bed likes the smell of candles you burn in your room. Lush forest is the favorite scent. The shadow people actually like night lights because more light means more shadow. The beast that lives in the woods likes watching you and your friends around the campfire. They like pretending they're part of the group. Mimics love Halloween because their costumes are always the best. This is an important month for witches as well. Supply them with mason jars and remember to put out the moon water for them. And finally, the tree monster that clicks and clacks on your windows doesn't mean to scare you. They just need nail clippers. Yo, boil up some Mountain Dew, it's gonna be a long night. You could have said anything else. Cauldron boil and cauldron bubble. Baja blast to fuel my treble. Okay, but I'm really proud of you guys. I feel like I don't say that enough. There are so many ways you keep amazing me. Please remind yourself, we're each of us so familiar with our own quirks and talents that it's so easy for us to view our traits and ourselves as unremarkable when actually the right onlooker would have been startled and impressed. View yourself with as much sympathy as you would a beloved character. The people we love in fiction and in life are as flawed and limited as us and we love them far more passionately than any theoretically perfect person. You deserve to feel that way about yourself. I promise. Holy shit, Goat, coming in for the kill. I was down with this whole so much sleep, but something feels missing. <laughs> you have too many bills to pay. Not liking your current life. You don't know what to do. Why not become a Crab Rangoon? Golden Tan, very hot, loved by millions, the fatter the better, and no responsibilities. Become a Crab Rangoon today. I used to get self-conscious over the smallest things. But friends, let me tell you that today I had to smuggle a furious eight-foot python onto the bus during school rush, and not a single person noticed. Not one. If people don't care enough to notice a shopping bag writhing and seething with a barely contained reptilian hatred, then I promise you that no one will pay any attention to that blemish you're fretting about or how you've done your hair. This is extremely concerning, but also very reassuring. Thank you, and please stop bringing pythons onto public transportation. All right, I'm gonna just say, Greek mythos people are Harry Potter people adjacent. Not elaborating. They never moved on from what they read in high school. Whoa! 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 <laughs> How dare you be right! She's finally awake! Uh, who? The prisoner in the back of the cart reading this. You know, it's creepy how rich people are obsessed with creating a way to stay immortal. We aren't scaring them enough so they don't believe their death is almost imminent, and that's fucked up. Let's scare them more. 
Ah, the Chad version of the Red Scare. My straight male co-worker looks over at my drawings. You drew that boy in a dress? Yeah, I have. That's cute. He looks really cute in that. Yes. Draw another in a dress. I've awakened something. I didn't get to party in 1999 because I turned one and one-year-olds are too busy to party. Ah, oh, don't worry. You didn't miss anything. So, Prince lied to me? What do you expect from a guy who thought rain was purple? Well, I figure that someone who said things like that knew how to frickin' party. And he did! It's 2017, where everything is the same, except Pennywise is played by this fucker. I hate it. You won't believe who was spotted leaving Wayne Mansion last night. Next up, are Bruce Wayne and Batman secretly dating? Please give me the fic where Bruce Wayne is forced to make it look like he's having an affair with his own alter ego, just to keep his secret identity safe. Where is that fic? Does it exist? Can I read it? Okay, what if Bigfoot is just someone's persona and they were just hanging around in their fursuit and someone caught them on tape and now they're too embarrassed to come out about it? The most awful thing about this post is just how fucking plausible it is! With Kate McKinnon voicing Miss Frizzle, imagine how upset conservatives will get when they find out a lesbian is using magic to teach kids science. It's like their worst nightmare. And it's even cooler because Miss Frizzle used to be voiced by Lily Tomlin, who is also a lesbian. So basically, Miss Frizzle is a lesbian by association. Um, of course she's lesbian. What straight woman owns a lizard and drives a bus? I let my students vote on a costume for our class skeleton. And they did a great job. Yeah. Being a creative on Tumblr culture is going through all the 24 reblogs on your post with 357 notes just to get enough serotonin to get through your day by reading what five godsend people who left tags wrote. Why is this the truth? This image literally me. When my dog had surgery, he cried a lot the first night, but he stopped when I laid down beside him. So I crawled into his cage with him so he'd stop crying and pet him until he fell asleep. I fell asleep with him, and when I woke up, that bitch was on my bed and left me in the cage. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. Transphobes aren't allowed to shop anymore because making a purchase is a transaction. <laughs> See what you did there. Honey is the only food product that never spoils. There are pots of honey that are over 5,000 years old and still completely edible. I also want to point out we know it tastes the same even after thousands of years because archaeologists who discover 2,000 year old honey tasted it. Presumably right after they looked at each other and went, eh, what the hell, here goes nothing. Oh, to be young, unleashing a Barnes and Nobles with a $50 gift card, buying whichever books had dragons drawn on the cover, I don't appreciate this call out. Nintendo took down a Megalovania remix for copyright reasons. Is Sans gonna be in Smash? Him or Frisk if the franchise was going to be represented in Smash. Wait, what? So you right? Well, I know I'm late, but you guys were right. <laughs> First the Belmonts, the World of Light, now Megalovania Sans. Hey guys, wouldn't it be really funny if Minecraft Steve got into Smash? <laughs> I don't really see it happening though, but, but, but we'll see. Oh no. Hey OP, do you want to deliver any other prophecies? No, I'm legally not allowed to speak anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot about the scream. <gasps> okay, new rule. If you regularly consume the blood and flesh of a demigod in a room full of chanting elders, you're not allowed to call other religions primitive and evil. This is oddly specific and leaves some very interesting questions unanswered. Huh, Catholicism sure sounds weird when you put it that way. Are you living or are you just jumping from one obsession to another to run away from yourself? What are you, the coping mechanism police or something? This election has me unreasonably stressed! Great news for ketchup, potential scientists say that the outcome of presidential election will in no way affect ketchup. How about now? Well, thank God. Me and my fiance have been together for two years and living together for a year and nine months. We are getting married in less than a year. Today we found out one of our family members had thought this whole time that we were just close friends. That I had moved 300 miles to find a job up here so we could share a house. And she was happy we had maintained a friendship this long. We even sent her a wedding invite and she thought it was a friendship wedding. We're the ultimate gal pals. Friendship wedding? I now pronounce you gal and pal. How do I play my Nintendo Switch in public without it getting stolen? Here you go. Oh, Switchblades. No. Someone, hey, can I ask you a personal question? My oversharing ass already bursting to answer the question. What? If the world were listening to you right now, what would you say? Pee pee poo poo. No, I would count down in the Mr. Robotic voice. Hit one, stop, say, missile strike initiated. 
Watch the panic. Pee pee poo poo. My grandmother is a bitter old crab with nothing good to say about anything. But she does have a few good stories. She confronted the woman my grandfather had been cheating on her with. This other woman had no idea he was married and was righteously angry. The two of them schemed together. My grandfather's mistress drove her convertible to the construction site where he was working. As he approached the car, she said, Why didn't you tell me you were married? Married? I'm not married, he said. My grandmother sat up in the back seat where she'd been lying down and said, You won't be for much longer! Holy shit! This is a country song. Use Cards Against Humanity as an oracle deck. Me. What can I do to be happy? The deck. Alcoholism. Look, I don't make the rules, buddy. If it says bees, it's bees. You just, you figure it out. Mom, You're trans now! Oh my! How could such a thing transpire? Are you ready for some football? Football! Me thinking about space. It's just... It's, it's so much shit. So there are rules against pumpkins in my dorm. But it doesn't say anything about pineapples. Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? Why didn't you write your essay? Stop wasting time! A 21 Pilots concert? Did you mean ukulele-fueled violence? A desperate cleric. Slamming every healing spell so hard to bring someone back to life, the ground is forced to grow plants and flowers across the body. Decades later, guarded by the forest of roses and thorns, lies the corpse refusing to rot. You're lying on the sofa under a blanket, lights dimmed, watching your favorite TV show. Your cat is laid across you, sleeping but purring quietly. All is calm, all is good. But then out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. Someone who doesn't know Steven Universe try and explain what's happening? Ah, oh, the gremlin and the tall god and no one cannot believe that the Lego lady is murdering Santa Claus. Guess who saw his cat outside, went to pet it, brought it home, saw his real cat, and realized he brought a stranger's cat to his house. So I told my mom about this, and apparently my sister has done the exact same thing with the exact same cat. Baby, I put the pro in procrastination. I have so much to do, someone save me. You don't have ADHD, it's on your head. Well, where else in my body do you think my brain was? ADHD is stored in the ass. The A in the ADHD stands for ass. What do the other letters stand for, then? Ass don't have dopamine. Hey, does Dutch mean, like, dombutch? <sighs> no, it's my nationality. Yo, shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. That literally got weirder and weirder with every word. So two days ago, October 21st, was National Throw Short People Day. You can throw anyone under five foot four with no permission needed. Well, hang on a second. Oh no, I'm gonna fucking hurl you into the sun. Remember, don't give your cat boy milk. He'll shit himself. Noted. This is a video game loading screen tip. Don't give your cat boy milk. He'll shit himself. <clears throat> Poe from Kung Fu Panda is a himbo. I say into the mic. The crowd boos. I begin to walk off in shame when a voice speaks and commands silence from the room. They're right, they say. I look for the owner of the voice. There in the fervid row stands Jack Black himself. Um, fervid? We all know Jack Black is not limited by our simple universe. Today I learned a parasite or a parasitus was an accepted role in Roman society, in which a person could live off the hospitality of others in return for flattery, simple services, and a willingness to endure humiliation. Yo, yeah, bring this back for real. We still have Twitch streamers. Why do humans have an appendix if all it's good for is exploding? It's a self-destruct button. Now excuse me while I- Tonight's cursed discussion. Is a Pop-Tart a ravioli? No, 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 you got it all wrong. Ravioli are just tiny, salty Pop-Tarts. See that? That's the kind of woke thinking that gets you places. You think that demons would have a lot more sympathy for the virgin sacrifices and a lot less for the guy holding both of them captive against their will. Guy wearing a hooded robe and holding a tome of ancient magic. Oh, foul demon, I have summoned you here too. The demon walking straight past the sacrifice and towards the guy who summoned him with murderous intent. Is this guy bothering you, queen? Legitimately ask someone, do you think that basic cleaning and sanitation just invented itself specifically for COVID or have you never cleaned anything before now? because they were complaining about having to wash their food and packages. Like, man, please tell me you haven't just been living as a gross little plague rat this whole time. How many nights are in FNAF? I can't remember. Only one if they get you. I'm sorry, confusing, because they say it's five, but it's not. I went camping, but forgot to bring a shot glass. 
Oh, God, that's the second worst reason anyone would carve a hole into a block of spam. Ugh, my life was formatted like a Tumblr shit post. Other scorpions have really badass tail stingers and claws, but the lesser known tailless whip scorpion has an even better defense mechanism. Just grab shit. Me when I fucking get you. I feel like villainous is basically a social experiment to find out exactly how vile and repulsive a tall, slender man in top hat needs to be before people aren't horny for him anymore. The experiment's not going well. Not even I know the scope of my abilities. Put some pebbles in your mouth. Okay, this isn't an ability. Hey, yes, Angel Beats. You motherfucker. When you dream about me, please add a few inches to my height. People with Ochako icons are trustworthy. Here, since it's bound to happen, I drew this beforehand. Give me your credit card number! Give me your credit card number! Who's the motherfucker who left Basta27 URL wide open? Oh shit, a Catboy containment breach. Ugh, get the suit, the toy. Alright, time to round him up again, God damn it! I finally put on my hummingbird feeders. Security camera sent me these. My neighbor thinks she's so funny. She's right. Me listens to a new song. My brain upon receiving one single hit of dopamine. We shall listen to only this song until we've wrung every last neurotransmitter out of it. And in this essay I wrote one hour before it was due, I will loop all over the place and barely manage to get the point across before I reach the word minimum and cut the paper off abruptly. Rules for meeting a dog. One, be cool with it. Two, pet it. Three, do not steal it. Four, stop running from the owner. Five, put it down. Six, this isn't worth the jail time. Seven, fuck you, yes it is. God, I love crocs and their entire family trees so much. These are animals that have remained virtually the same for millions of years. Pretty much as close to perfect as you can get in nature, and this highly optimized body is just a fat sausage with a mouth at one end and chubby baby arms. This is what peak performance looks like. I know what I want to be when I grow up. Reminder that my roommate once painted Alexander Hamilton as a ham. Silence, you piece of birchwood! The best Pokemon professor is Elm, 100%. He gets robbed by a 10-year-old and his instinct isn't to call the cops at first, it's to call another 10-year-old. To catch a horse, you gotta think like a horse. I'm going to piss off some people. Bye. Not that good. You just took cake and made it wet. Nonsense, man. Oh my god! Sonic the Hedgehog ends Marvel's 10-year run as highest grossing superhero movie! I wasn't expecting this news today. Good on our boy for this achievement! Look at him! Look how happy he is! Russian scientists defrosted several prehistoric worms and two woke up. After thawing, the two worms began to move and eat. One is 32,000 years old and the other one is 41,700 years old. This year is not the year. Freeze them back! Ain't they never seen the thing? Who decided to give me a brain? Cause whoever you are, you made a mistake. Anyways, I'm gonna go capture Iceland. Toodles! I don't know who needs to hear this, but you deserve as many knives as you can carry. Oh my god, thank you! Not you. Gallifrey is a civilized and advanced society with a massive area called the Death Zone, at the center of which is a tower containing the corpse of God. Just like New York. Yes, just like New York. Memory? <laughs> she! This post was brought to you by ADHD. It's honestly so toxic to leave a desirable object under a box propped up by a stick. Did something happen, OP? No! I'm just... I'm just saying words. Shower head that turns water rainbow colors, plus bath tiles that change color according to heat, equals don't take a shower if you're on any kind of hallucinatory drugs. Are you kidding? I'ma do all the drugs! Girls will see a chance to commit arson and be like, I'm sorry, I have to take this. Girls will see a building and sign on fire and say, Is anyone gonna burn that? And not wait for an answer. Okay, I'll go humor mind blur and try to build a rustic house to see what the fuss is all about. I'm sorry, the Tumblr fan base for Minecraft is called Mind Blur? <sighs> house. House. Rustic. I'm sorry, Mind Blur, for doubting you. I understand now. I've seen the way of the rustic house against that building. Rustic house! Guys, I am one week clean of ending up in a PM Seymour compilation. This is such a great milestone. Hopefully I'll be able to maintain sober. You probably jinxed it. Don't you dare. It's too late, Lawrence. No! Proceeds to go back in time and prevent Andrew Hussey's birth. You fool. Homestuck was a necessary evil in order to prevent Super Hulak from being the only fandom on Tumblr. You've changed the future for the worse, and now you have to write Homestuck to fix this timeline. Oh, 
God, no. Do you have it in hell, like, feel remorse? Do the angels weep and mourn for the comrades that fell to hell or express doubt in their God's unconditional love and might? Lucifer was a wise being, a high-ranking angel, yet he fell victim to the sin of envy. Who's to say that the angels still devote to God weren't immune to such emotions themselves? Do the devils regret believing Lucifer's philosophies and choosing his side, and now knowing they can never return to paradise? If this was God's way of expressing tough love, how long will the punishment last? The fallen angels laid restless, unable to sleep to the shrieks of the damned. In that moment, neither heaven nor hell realized the concept they had birthed. A concept too dangerous for either domain. And so it has plagued the mortal realm the moment mankind took his first breath. Worry. Doubt. Dread. Anxiety. Jesus. Yeah, a little too deep there, Tumblr. Today I learned Matthew Lillard originally screamed till his voice went hoarse and scratchy to achieve his voice for Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Even doing it in his car before his audition at Warner Brothers in Los Angeles. Imagine you're going to audition for Shaggy in the new movie, and the guy in the next spot is just fucking screaming in his car. I mean, it's probably how Shaggy feels all the time. The range of the coconut crab. An empire. I misread this as rage and got really scared. Never underestimate the power of a low-quality webcam to make you look good in a selfie. Mm. But if I don't hyperfixate, I'll get depressed and die. Oh god, I've run out of hyperfixations. Oh god. Oh fuck. Uh I feel so useless. No. Desperately digs through old hyperfixations. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Give me something. Amulet that makes you think about trains. Um, pocket watch. Me, a fool. 2020 couldn't get any worse, right? Mystery Skull's future. Oh, God, no. I told this woman I work with to have a happy birthday tomorrow since she's off, and she did a double take before asking me how I knew that. When I first started as their boss, I made a note of everyone's birthday so I can get them a small card or a gift. I told her that, and she stared at me for a few moments before saying, I don't like that. No, you don't know my birthday. I know it. And then, like, walked away. So this woman I work with has never been born, and I've never met her in my life. I'm sorry, but I know is so fucking funny. Strawberry milk doesn't taste like strawberry, but it sure as hell tastes like pink. Mmm, tea. No, girl, it's milk. Some YouTuber. Here's my fun AMV inspired by Scooby-Doo and Rhythm Games. Six years later. So here's the fourth installment of my anime. <laughs> Fuck, I feel cold out right now. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to its wild state in a matter of months. Growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Well, excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are we not? Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. The right choice. Ah, 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 it's me, Dracula. Happy Halloween. Ah, 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 ah. I have garlic. Fuck! <laughs> November is the Thursday of months. November's like if you took October and December, but instead of adding them together, you subtracted them from each other. I have no idea what this means, but I know it's true on a gut level. Yeah. Bro, what if we, like, accidentally kissed? In the garage. My, my, my dad said, okay, but don't touch his power tools or else I'm grounded. But, like, what if we accidentally kissed over his 20-year-old cordless drill while kissing the garage? <sighs> oh, my God, I'm getting you grounded for this. What if this was all a dream and you woke up in your bed ungrounded and everything was fine? The kiss wasn't real. This miniature ecosystem has been thriving in an almost completely isolated state for more than 40 years. It has been watered just once in that time. The original single spiderwort plant has grown and multiplied, putting out seedlings. As it has access to light, it continues to photosynthesize. The water builds up on the inside of the bottle and then rains back down on the plants in a miniature version of the water cycle. As leaves die, they fall off and rot at the bottom, producing the carbon dioxide and nutrients required for more plants to grow. And if you don't think this is the fucking raddest shit, then get out of my face. And now a chart of forbidden cats. Only if you fear God. Me in public. Oh, I'm just so super innocent and polite. Me at home. God damn it, what the fuck? Stop fucking falling on the damn floor. Pull your shit together. What the actual fuck? Ah, yes. The Aaron Hansen effect. Sure, you may be iconic. But have you ever looked at the Grim Reaper in the eye and told him that he has three minutes to eat an entire raw onion? I think so. I don't know what it is about sitting in chairs and having both feet on the floor, but it's so uncomfortable and awful, and I will never willingly do it if there's literally any other option. I mean, yeah. 
The weirdest guy I ever met in a church was this boy who referred to Buzz Aldrin and his husband going to the moon. I was completely baffled. And when I asked if he misspoken, he got really angry and accused me of being deliberately ignorant of the facts. It turned out he was somehow convinced that Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were married. It took five Wikipedia articles to convince him otherwise. The moon landing was fake. Oh, so tired, passe, heard it before. The moon landing was an elaborate marriage proposal. Fresh, sexy, I'm gonna be thinking about it for months. Okay, guys, I just figured it out. The most base human desire is to just do stuff for strings. Weaving, cooking spaghetti, quantum physics, embroidery, uh, releasing your shoes to go on a run, a lot of instruments, knitting. Hold up, they're onto something. Y'all ever just in a mood to mutilate a JPEG? I got one of the best pictures I've ever made out of that urge. <gasps> Hunts! One late night, you are up in your room when you hear your mother calling you downstairs. You're halfway down the staircase when all of a sudden, you see your mom in front of your bedroom door. Terrified, she whispers, don't go downstairs. I heard her too. Who do you believe? The one calling me downstairs, they're lesbians, not ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that was good. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> when a McDonald's employee dies. What does this even mean? Uh, it means you mick press, mick f to mick pay, mick respects. Duh. Thanks to Duolingo, I can ask people if they are a horse, but can't tell people what my name is in French. All right, ask me I'm a fucking horse, I dare you. Uh, tu as ton cheval? Nay. Oh, oh, you So my cute new neighbor just knocked to ask if he could borrow an egg from us. Then he asked if I could summarize to him how pancakes are made. Now I'm going over to his place and teach him how to make them. Cute neighbor now knows how to make pancakes. Does cute new neighbor know anything else? My number? Ship it! Things public school kids take way too seriously. Jeopardy, review games, kickball, and spirit week. Oh my god, this post is so American, I don't even know what half these things are. Psst, 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 psst. You kill anyone, Catboy? That's between me and God. I don't have my glasses, and I thought this was a squirrel. I mean, yeah. Stop bringing your evangelism to skateboarding class, Frank. It's skate or die, not skate or die for my sins. Separation of church and skate. This image is way funnier considering that this is Egypt and this snow was the first snow they got in 112 years. This man waited 112 years to slam dunk that snowball on this man's head. Worth it. Ugh, kids are just like... <laughs> until one day they're like, oh shit, I can think. And then it's all downhill from there. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to have to lie down in a seabed at Grand Cayman. <gasps> Blinky! A sea blanky! Don Featherstone, creator of the Plastic Lawn Flamingos, 1957. Okay, he looks exactly how you would picture the creator of Plastic Lawn Flamingos to look. Today I learned the Greek philosopher Plato's real name is unknown, as Plato is his wrestling name. Oh my god, it's the rock in 2500 years. Plato means broad in Greek! There are recorded instances in Aristotle's notes of Plato settling debates by standing up and flexing. He was an Olympic gold medal wrestler. Dude, imagine reading Jumbo's dialogues, or the big dude's theory of ideas, or fuck huge McMike's allegory of the cave. <laughs> I just found out that it's stress awareness week. Well, mission accomplished. I am certainly fucking aware of stress. Thanksgiving is canceled in 2020. Instead, November will be a month of Dionysian madness. Casting curses, moonlight revelry, dubious self-care methods, ritual sacrifice, and mashed potatoes. And we're off to an excellent start! Big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Look at this. Decadence. I sterilized my cat so she wouldn't have any babies. And then she brought one from the street. You cannot prevent me from raising a family. I am mother! New Yorkers be like, Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, hey, I gotta get down square. Hey, gotta ride the horse down the train station. Hey, it ain't familiar. Hey, gotta get your New York bagel. Hey. How dare you offend my people? 
Welcome to ADHD Emotions. Get ready to experience understimulation, overstimulation, the anger spiral, Wednesday forever. Oh God, they hate me. This whole grocery store hates me. And last. Can confirm, hate it. I pay for this ad spot because I hate ads. Enjoy this pic of a cute turtle instead. Peace. Ah, oh, okay, out of good advertising. Hate is louder, but I believe you'll find love is wider and runs deeper. Love is thick. <sighs> you know what? I'll take it. No, 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 no. In 2021, we stop using thick and use thick, thick or bombast thick. Mr. Bombast Thick, Califantastic. Behold, Pyman Dick Axe. I'm sorry, wait, what? I believe they said Pymon Dick Axe! My house is strange. There's me, I'm bisexual, and I live with my gay brother and my asexual fiance. My brother and I have the same taste in boys, but I'm really the only one who likes girls, and my fiance is just generally really excited about dragons. Dude, I want this sitcom. Is generally just really excited about dragons! Today I learned a lobster's nervous system is so similar to humans that human antidepressants work on lobsters. I don't like thinking that lobsters can get depressed. Good news! That's actually almost all animals! Fruit flies get drunk to deal with it, and cockroaches malnourish themselves! That's not good news at all! They got me in some kind of secret facility, doing experiments on me. I have powers now. I'm gonna fight the government. Ah, oh, me when I'm an original character made by a 12-year-old. Why are there 10 loud saxophone players outside? There isn't even a metaphor, they're actually out there! I just passed three people with tubas! Uh, please consider... Marching band. Okay, see, here's the thing, that would make sense, except I'm at the gym? Uh, obviously, marching band wants to work out. Upgrade to running band. I didn't want to do my geology homework, so I stitched this cracker to the arm of the couch. Yeah. I raise you comic artists who can draw kids, and offer you comic artists who absolutely cannot draw babies. Goo. What is a baby? A small man? I love it when cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. Wish I could do that. All right, guys. It's time to get...
some of the changes and design for the penguin symbol of old penguin paperbacks. He did a little dance and for this crime he was imprisoned in a bubble! Free him! I'm cute and I'm sexy and that's why I'm allowed to build my wizard tower within city limits! Zoning laws don't apply to me because the whole city council is so charmed by my voluminous robes and funny hat. Mm. Kids, when life gets you down, you've got three choices. Give up, try again, or call Luigi. If you ever have the option to call Luigi, always call Luigi. Oh yeah. Birth certificates are just receipts for human beings. Uh, how and where can I return myself, please? Please. I want the money back. Real Netflix and chill is like 30 minutes of, what do you want to watch? I don't care, you choose. No, 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 you choose. No, you choose. No, you choose. I don't- Alternatives to Zoom, police, toilet paper, Amazon, Facebook, and hand sanitizer. It's 2020. This is the most 2020 photo I've ever seen, though. Reminder, you are under no obligation to look pretty. Not when you're laying around the house. Not when you go to the grocery store. Not when you sit in a classroom. Not when you go to the gym. You are never obligated to get dressed up just so you are pretty for others. 
Pretty is not the rent you pay to exist in this world as a woman! That last line. Wow. The idea of a straight vampire is just very funny to me. <laughs> like, imagine you're immortal and you aren't even capable of fully appreciating the good parts of it. All your vampire friends fully understand the aesthetic and wear dark and flowing clothes and sip blood out of goblets. And then there's just you wearing, I don't know, like a salmon polo shirt and tan shorts, whatever straight people wear. I don't keep track of this shit. I give to you a map of the most popular species of furry Google search in every state. Ah, finally. The furry elections. I got a lot of questions for Colorado. What's going on there, guys? What's up? My brain is fired. I meant fried. You know what? My brain's fired too. Collect your things. I've had it with your shit. A pumpkin man sits inside a pumpkin house. Is the house made of flesh? Or is he made of house? He screams! For he does not know! People are wild. When I rarely mention that I don't like kissing, they're automatically like, Oh, you'll like it when you find the right person. Like, yeah, let me just go do the thing that I hate a bunch more times until I stop hating it. Or more likely, become numb enough to tolerate it. Like, thanks, idiot. You totally cured me. Because, let's be real, they don't actually give a shit about my comfort. They just want me to shut up and act normal. Okay, guys, no Earth spoilers, please. I'm only up to the Cambrian explosion. Yo, I'm really loving these new dinosaur characters. I hope they stick around a while. Oh, fuck off! If you're driving a Tesla and it got stolen, is it now an Edison? This is peak physics joke! Oh, look, a guy packaged. Definitely not bees. Shake vigorously before an opening. Well, at least it's not bees. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not falling for that one again. If courage isn't the absence of fear, but doing the right thing regardless of it, maybe confidence isn't the absence of insecurity, but knowing you have real worth despite it. This is beautiful. By this same token, maybe goodness isn't the absence of bad thought or impulses, but the conscious choice to behave according to your moral ideals in spite of them. I love this! It's official. I have seen everything! A gay Jewish wedding where they rode in on a horse dressed as a unicorn! Wow. I love it. One time I dreamt, I saw the future. There were so few bees left that they crossbred beekeepers with them so they could better connect with them. I was taking a test to identify plants. I won because some dude thought pineapples were berries. And after that, I met a beekeeper who worked inside of a giant glass beehive and had little antennas and a dope-ass beard. Okay, so everyone was commenting on this post saying that pineapples are berries. Even I was like, no, that's not right. So I looked it up and... Is pineapple a berry? A pineapple is neither a pine nor an apple, but a fruit consisting of many berries that have grown together. That means that pineapples are not a single fruit, but a group of berries that have fused together. Okay, was anyone going to tell me that pineapples are berries, or was I just supposed to read that in a one time I dreamt post myself? Bananas, tomatoes, watermelons, coffee, cocoa, pomegranates, and pumpkins are all also berries. Wh what? What do you mean pomegranates are berries? You know what isn't a berry? Strawberries! Fuck fruit scientists! Hey, is anyone ignoring the part of the dream where bees and beekeepers fucked? Caution! Aliens with cowboy hats. Those fucking stylish bastards. I work in a pet store, and a woman was looking at her betas and asked me whether one was male or female. I told her that they were all male. Because they are. Our company orders only male betas. She looks at me incredulously and pointed at one and asked, even this one? I was like, yes. Why? It's pink, though. Why is the male fish pink? I swear, she was borderline angry at me, and I didn't know how to explain that fish genetics don't adhere to human gender roles. The cyst. But what about biology? Also the cyst. But why is the pink fish male? Oh, boy, wait till they hear about flamingos. And they're not even ready for river dolphins. Ghibli movie straight up said you're gonna be really confused for an hour and 30 minutes, but it'll be breathtaking so you won't even be mad about it. To this day, not even sure what happens at the end of Howl's Moving Castle, but damn if Bird Howl doesn't look cool as fuck. Hey boss, I got you those flowers you wanted. Bada boom white and bada bing rose. Hey, I'm growing he. I am, but a humble moron vying for attention in this court overrun with jesters. Throw me some scraps. My bells do a delightful little jingle when I wiggle my tiny hat. If I throw you a banana peel, will you slip on it in a comical fashion? Yes, and my curly little shoes will wobble wildly as I screech and slip in pain.
Do my pain not amuse and delight you? Is your thirst for savagery not sated by my misery? Even if one bad thing happens in 2020, I will completely lose my shit. Someone should check on her. It is not the prettiest, but here is a little chart I made of skin tones. The idea is to eye drop anywhere on the chart to get a unique skin tone instead of just stuck in the loop of white tan dark. <gasps> Useful. Flesh cloud eager to assist your art. Oh, hail the mighty flesh cloud. Wait, that's what it's from. So someone put Mothman in their window and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman. I love college. The angle of this photo implies that OP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? Advantages to wearing oversized sweaters. An instant cute outfit with minimal outfit. It enhances the coziness when you drink hot beverages. Sweater balls are guaranteed to make you feel 43% more adorable. And you can unbutton your jeans and no one will know. The disadvantages to wearing oversized sweaters... Guys think they're totally not cute, lol. The day I dress for a man is the day they dress me in my coffin to see Jesus. Also, um, says you, East Coast Breeze. Physically, I am present, but mentally, I am face down in a pool while this year by the mountain goats play on loop in the background. Things just keep happening. Yeah. Society. Blue is for boys and pink is for girls. Me. I am the gender non-conforming lobster. Gender non-conforming lobster is my new aesthetic. Me looking at photos of my boo. I misread this as my dog. I mean, that's better. I have this headcanon that the Warners have specific limits to their powers. Like Dot is whimsical humor, Wacko is physical humor, and Yako... Yako can just do about anything. I love not knowing who 95% of celebrities are now. Like every day someone new is trending, I go, I don't know who the fuck this is! And then move on. I love that. Leonardo DiCaprio date a woman over 25 challenge. I thought that said Leonardo da Vinci and was confused since da Vinci was gay, and also since you were calling out someone who's been dead for well over seven years. Well, da Vinci has been dead for well over seven years, so I'll give you that. Oh, this is the grunt. Me refusing to leave Tumblr. Sir, this is my emotional support hell site. Sensor bot, beep boop, sensor bot approved. Me refusing to leave. Sir, this is my emotional hell. <sighs> Me refusing to leave, sir, this is my emotional hell, is a funnier text post than my original one. Good job, Censorbot. So here's the game plan. I got 12 identical cats. I name them all Steve. So nobody I invite over will know which Steve they're petting. I then train them all to come over when their name is called. And then I convince someone I only have one cat named Steve. And then I tell them to call for him. A dozen identical Steve's will then erupt from around the house to which I scream in terror. Oh god, no, he's multiplied again! And watch as the poor person panics while being surrounded by 12 different Steve's. I love everything about this. Paranormal investigator? <sighs> no, I'm a paranormal instigator. I'm haunting your house and I'm here to start shit! This is German Kindergarten. Every building built mainly for children should be this fucking weird. I can't even imagine how much happier my memories of early childhood would be if I could look back and haven't gone into kindergarten in a big old cat. Yeah. Jesters also had a vital role to play in the battles themselves. In the early Middle Ages, their job was to wage psychological warfare. What the fuck? Reading about jester history, I wanted to share this with you all. Oh, is that what shock chocks are? Fun fact, face masks are made in such a way that water can't pass through the tiny holes in it. The source, I forgot to remove my mask before drinking water. My stupidity is immeasurable. Skeletons aren't scary. We're filled with pulsing, oozing meat. And y'all think the skeletons are scary? The meat's scary. The meat. It's midnight and this tweet is giving me a heart attack. FEAR THE MEAT! Meal suggestions. Should I have a proper meal tonight? Or should I just engulf a box's worth of stuffing for the Christmas spirit? I hope this email finds you a broken husk of a man. I hope this email finds you before I do. I hope this email finds you, she threatened. I can guarantee your email is not finding me well. The email. So here's the problem. I once yelled because I saw a centipede, and my boyfriend commentated, a friend. And when I said no, he added, and maybe a lover? 
Now this has become standard procedure to referring to centipedes. So now I get messages like, I love her. I love her spotted within my dresser. No thank you. Why is my name beef in your phone? You know, like BF. Okay, so Australia's got like new chip flavors. I think from America, like Cool Ranch Doritos and potato chips, also hot wings. I mean, I know what that is, but what the frick is Cool Ranch? America, explain yourself. We've dealt with your crap for too long, the actual frick. Karen Crab is here to sell you essential oils. Oh God, the disco ball's melting. So, do we, do we panic now? The real writer experience is standing in the shower and coming up with the most authentic dialogue with perfect phrasing and raw emotion in your head. Then stepping out and drying your hair, putting on some clean pajamas and opening a Word document to write all of your perfect ideas only to realize everything has evaporated. Yeah, same with John. What is your sexuality? Uh, I forgot how people explain it. Uh, sexual int? You mean, you mean asexual? Yes! I shove joy in your brain sucking and you love it. You do it in a very unenjoyable manner. Less talking, more joy! Beat the shit out of you! This is a friendly interaction! How to draw Murdoch from gorillas. One, find a picture of each individual beetle. Two, put them all on separate layers. Three, merge all layers together into a horrible British rock abomination. Four, green filter. Five, done! Why does... why does that work? The name's practice. Malpractice. Well, nice to meet you, Dr. Practice. Could you please tell me what's wrong with my son? He needs surgery on all of his bones. V very well, here's my credit card. I accept no payment. I do this because I love it. My new song, Toss Me Into The Sun, will be the antithesis to Fly Me To The Moon. Then call it Toss Me Into The Sun. What part of this post did you manage to miss? When somebody says a man likes to feel like a man, all I hear is a man likes to feel superior to you and it's your job to make him believe it. Someone said this to me once, that a man needs to feel like a man, and I replied, well, I'm not stopping him. I had to watch this fragile creature try to explain to me that my strong personality could demean men. <laughs> like, if I have to pretend you are a strong man and cater to that, then you're clearly not that strong, dude. One time I was with my family. I dropped my plate of food and I was like, God damn it! Then my mom was like, you can't say that! So I said, fine, Satan bless it! Everyone turned to look to me after I said it. I forgot I was in a church. Someone is talking about things and stuff that I'm not processing. Me. Oh, I should be processing this right now, huh? And then I didn't! How to write. Step one, open a Word document. Step two, sit with a document open for ten minutes. Step three, fall asleep. And step four, somehow wake up with a word document filled with a story you don't remember writing. My sister really asked me how many monsters I've had in the last seven days, and I said six. Well, off to the shop to buy a seventh. Aw, uh, they meant drinks. I thought actual monsters. Shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. <clears throat> I had a dream last night that I worked at McDonald's and I was behind the counter when this guy dressed in a tuxedo, you know, with the white dicky and tie, was snapping his fingers for a server. I went over and asked to see our darkest red. I knew he was talking about wine, so I said, Sir, this is a McDonald's. The darkest one we have here is ketchup. And he had me pour him a glass of ketchup, and he drank it while looking me directly in the eye. Four guys my dad thinks are distinct people, but are actually all Brian David Gilbert. One. The lead singer of the All Together. Two, the boy who made the Mario movies. Three, the brain behind the awesome popcorn recipe I use. And four, the creator of the croon. I'm told that many Germans are stockpiling cheese and sausages in anticipation of a COVID lockdown. Planning, in other words, for a worst case scenario. <laughs> I scrolled past, then I scrolled back up. Then I rolled my eyes, and then reblogged. My favorite part of Beyond Light so far is the post-campaign quest where Elsie keeps revealing her traumatic past while the solar system's deadliest six-year-old stands there in complete silence. Free therapy. man -eel. Milan. Malin. Omni. Imnal. Almi. And Yamno. The fuck stop it, brain. I might poke you. Keep an eye out, because now I most certainly will poke you. 
Is selling pickles in movie theaters really just a Texas thing? Like, I can't imagine going to a movie and not getting a pickle. Like, what the fuck is going on in Texas? Okay, y'all about to hear my favorite Thomas Jefferson story. Americans used to think tomatoes were poisonous, but Tommy J, as a cultured world traveler and former ambassador to France, knew better. So one day, at a dinner party, he just whipped out a tomato and straight up ate it like an apple. And everyone was like, Thomas, no! And we're all convinced he was going to die. He didn't die, obviously, and probably just sat there with a smug-ass grin as all of his guests ran frantically about to fetch a doctor to save him from the dreaded tomato. Interesting fact about me is I have great memory, but I also have shit memory. What this means, in practice, I can recite any number of Simpson scenes verbatim, but I can't remember what I did last week. Yeah. One can't decide whether to join the Bard's Guild or the Thieves' Guild. One will have to weigh the pros and cons. You ever just hand things to your pet to sniff so they feel included? Yes, I do! Remember when Katara wanted to blow up a factory for environmental justice and Aang just tagged along because he thought it would be fun to be an eco-terrorist? Sure do. Yep. Good times. You know what? I might fuck around and drink the daily recommended amount of water. Oh god, I have to pee. You know what, actually? Fuck you! Uncobbles your stone. Dude. Dude. Not cool, dude! What the f- Goth girlfriend this and goth girlfriend that. Where were y'all when I was getting bullied in middle school? Also getting bullied in middle school. An ally. Change returned. $21,714.77. Can you give this to me in quarters? Everyone needs to be themselves and not let anyone get in the way of that. If I want to suddenly remember about a secret stash of oats and honey granola bars after six-ish months, and then eat half of the 64-pack, then me do me. Chase your dreams. King Henry VIII. I want to look stupid wide in my portraits. Go ham, brother. Mm. Oh, Wesley. I'm trying to get a divorce, but I'm dumb, thick, and the clap of my ash cheeks keeps alerting the Pope. Aw, uh, she a glass of milk. Oh, the plot hole? That's there for... ventilation. Me poking holes in my plot to let characters I've trapped in a cup breathe. <gasps> <coughs> Animaniacs 2020 is unrealistic. Not just because of everything about it, but also because Yako didn't die instantly and permanently after consuming all the data on the internet. I've been solely exposed to the World Wide Web over a period of years, and my brain is melting out of my ears. How is Yako even functioning? That's a good point, actually. Hello everyone, this is Snob. I just wanted to say you are all beautiful and capable of anything. Some people forget that. If something is difficult, take a second to rest and look at it from a different angle. Backtrack if needed. Someone out there is going through the same thing, and someone cares about you. If this helps any of you even slightly, I'm happy. There's no need for likes, though. I will ask you share this to those who might need it. Thank you. We don't deserve snob. Yo, why do people call soda soft drink? You ever felt that thing in your mouth? They're spiky, not soft. Flock it. So what do you do for a living? I exist against my will. Two asexuals sitting in a tree. S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Can you please call the fire department? We're stuck. Top picks for April. Buddy, it's November. <gasps> Wait. Wacko had a gender once. Then he ate it. Non-binary. So you know what? Fuck you! I'm uncaramelizing your dancing! <gasps> How dare you? I don't trust birds. Fucking hollow bones. That's suspicious. What are you hiding in there? Love. Oh, fuck shit, you're right, fuck. Volunteering at a soup kitchen is one of the least productive things you can do to change the world. Art can inspire people and motivate them. Food is important, yes. But you aren't changing that person's life. Whoever wrote this post has definitely never been hungry. There are only four genders. Bitch, bastard, baby, and clown. Only the Avatar, master of all four genders. The history professor. No one worships those gods anymore. Anyone who did has passed away by now. The pagans. Quit telling everyone I'm dead! Today I learned that a captive beluga whale learned how to read rudimentary English after seven years in captivity. It was only known after a diver visiting his tank at night heard voices telling him to get out when no one else was in sight. It was actually the beluga whale. That is spooky. Where is my 48-hour horror game about this? I need it. Please and thank you. Bucket Chair, what's your opinions on dirt? 
I just love, love, love what you can find in there. Like worms? Even people, if you dig down far enough. Oh, so you like metal? <laughs> Name three blacksmiths. Will, Jaden, and Willow. This post has two puns. I can't handle this! I want to be a Bart Ender. Men named Bart, look out. I love working out of Joe and Fabrics. Today, a guy asked me to show him the fake fur, and when I did, he goes, No, this won't do. And part of my job is giving advice for projects, so I asked him, What was he using it for? And he looks down at the floor and quietly says, I want to make a Yeti costume to scare people with when we go skiing. Aha, we found the Scooby Doo villain! This unused memory pick in Breath of the Wild is killing me. I have so many questions. Who took this pick? Why is Link doing the jutsu pose? Why is Zelda like, Oh shit, what you gonna do? Link is gonna jutsu you all, <laughs> look out! Where do you even find this memory? It's unused because Link is repressing this memory. Wrap a rubber band around your door lock tonight. If you aren't doing this already, you should start. And <laughs> let the boogeyman get me? No, 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 no way. I know you're behind this boogeyman. You want my wallet? Go get it! Fun game. Refer to America as South Canada and watch as Americans lose their shit. Ugh. Probably because it's the United States of America and not South Canada. That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> Look, it's working. It's a cute little thing, though. Sometimes it's hard to remember that owls are incredibly dangerous predators seen by cultures throughout the world as ill omens, especially when they look like toasted marshmallows. My boss once described them as flying pillows filled with seething hatred. I could see it, but I still want to smooch his head. Look it. Van Gogh ate yellow paint because he was suicidal, Karen. If Van Gogh had antidepressants, we wouldn't have his artwork. We'd have a lot more of his work, Karen. Who the fuck cares about what we get from him? He deserved to be well, Karen. Cut his ear off for a woman because he lo- Because he was mentally ill, Karen! I'm at a McDonald's and this little kid just took off his shoes and dumped all of his fries into it. My dude put the shoe back on with the fries in it! Homie's walking out of the establishment with fry feet, my dude! Ah, oh, that's old salty shoes, Sam. Comes in here all the time. Robot. Lobster. Why though? He's a robster. I love it when people try to claim representation in fiction is being taken too far to the point where it's not believable. They're like, ugh, what's next? A mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum? Hi, my name is Rachel, also known as Rashna. I'm a mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum. What's next? A transgender Latino man with chronic pain? What, you mean my former colleague Marco? What's next? A black Jewish lesbian? Bitch, I know three black Jewish lesbians! What's your fucking point? Is now a bad time to mention I actually don't hate this site? I mean, I hate the owners, hate the staff, hate the incompetence, whoever's in charge here. But I love the site. I love the format, I love my mutuals, I love my followers, and all the amazing content creators here. I don't know what I'll replace this with, if anything. January, February, quarantine, December. It's fucking December? What? Wait, no! You tricked me for a second, which really speaks for how much me any time is lost. Oh shit, I scheduled this for December! What do you mean it's December?! Oh my god, what the fuck? You ever just stand up too fast and all you feel is just head pound, heart out, eyes bad, oh god, I'm going to die! And then after 15 seconds you're okay again? Because same. My idea. T-shirt that says well-intentioned on the front, and but stupid on the back. God lives in a jar. How does it feel, God? How does it feel?! Multiplayer video games are bad for health, heart, and emotional well-being. Cut them out of your diet. Did you lose again? No. Maybe. Psst. Hey. Are you an artist or a writer with work in progresses? Come here. I got a secret for you. Psst. Come here. We're hitting in deep suspense. Psst. You ready? Here comes a secret. Here it comes. I'm also very curious about this secret. Your time spent enjoying the creative process is infinitely more valuable than any final product you create. So stop putting yourself down for never finishing or posting those work in progresses because every moment you spent creating something you loved is a moment not wasted. Your progress and talent is measured by your passion, not your number of posts. Aw oh man, I wanted the map to an ancient city of treasure. The most painful social interactions are when you miscalculate someone's meme literacy and reference something and the person or group doesn't get it and you have to half-heartedly explain it, knowing full well it's 0% funny if people don't have the full convoluted context of the joke, and you feel the flames of hell start to lick at your feet, and all they give you is a pity laugh. Damn. People talk a lot about figuring out the shower in someone else's house, but every microwave I've ever used other than mine has made me feel like a Neanderthal being thawed from ice, shown a car for the first time, and immediately asked to change the oil. 
me text back three years later. <laughs> Not much. What about you? The worst part about studying languages is knowing that you'll never be nearly as good at it as a literal baby. Thanks. I hate it. What do you mean I never reached out to you? I literally manifest you in fake scenarios I create in my head each night before I fall asleep. I made stew. It was awesome. I love potatoes. Nah, I love you too. Wait, what was in the stew? Pick one. Edge piece or centerpiece? Neither, because brownies are fucking nasty and so are the bitches who eat them. I'm sorry that nobody in your family can bake. My mom's a private chef and I'm in culinary training. Don't roast us like this. I'm sorry that your mom went to culinary school and still can't bake. Oh, shit. I googled why do cats run around and meow at night? And one of the results listed this as a cause. A simple zest for life. It's true. Excuse me, Piff. Could you get your zesting on at a more reasonable hour, though? Zest has no curfew. I require speed! What if people made humanizations of colleges and started shipping them? Uh, the AO3 tag you're looking for is Academia Anthropomorphic. It's very suspicious that you know that. If the multiverse theory is true, then there's a universe where it isn't. Multiverse theory doesn't cover paradoxical situations. Except in the universe where it does. I'm having an aneurysm! I like my coffee how I like my coffee. I like my coffee. Serial killer smiley face. Physically, I'm here. Mentally, I'm walking at a snail's pace through the mountains of Skyrim, occasionally screaming in dragon tongue because I am carrying valuable bones that weigh 15 kilos each, and my horse ran off, sprinting into the direction of a wolf who looked at me funny in the next town over. Skyrim's great, you guys. Stormcloaks. The Empire is bad, and that's why we worship that guy that, um, founded the Empire. If our ancestors saw how we lived, for the most part, they'd probably think we're royalty. And I'd like to think that'd make them happy. Man, you right. Anyone else here a fool? A hooligan? An oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? What are we all but foolish mortals? It's just fucked up that we bred pigeons to be our companions and then we no longer had use of them. We just abandoned them and now we treat them like menaces and pests and people want them dead. They're our friends. Okay, I was drunk, but I was right. One minute of a Ghibli movie is greater than anything by Tarantino. I am not kidding when I say this single shot is better than anything your favorite director has ever made. Except if it's Hayao Miyazaki, then it's just Hayao Miyazaki being greater than Hayao Miyazaki, which is just, I don't even know where to begin on that one. Weather boy. Derogatory. OP, what does this mean? Wouldn't you like to know? Weather boy. I don't know what it means, but I feel offended by it already. This isn't my first rodeo, but it is the first time I've ridden a horse. <laughs> what the hell, bro? You're dungeoning my dragons? You're quick failing my D20? You're destroying my lich's palaka tree and inside checking my NPCs? It's not fine. Grow fuck up. It deeply pains me to know that there are some fanfics out there. Some golden fanfics that deserve to be seen and appreciated and that I will never get a chance to read because they're buried amongst thousands of other golden fanfics and there's simply not enough time to read all of them because of this stupid moral countdown. Jesus, man. You know what? I'm not a simple person with simple tastes. I'm exceedingly complicated and my tastes are extremely convoluted. Never mind, I was just thirsty. Why won't Body tell me that it needs water in a direct way? Oh, you were parched. I thought you were horny. I'm asexual and I crave moisture. I'm getting I'm asexual and I crave moisture printed on a t-shirt now. Anonymous asked, Dilves immediately made me think of Dilf Elves. I don't think Dill Elves can exist. I don't think it's possible, but I'm open to being proved wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I got one. I got one. Bear with me. Santa. This is a lot to unpack at once, conveniently compressed into a single word response, like a live grenade thrown gently from off stage. Elliot Page, formerly known as... <laughs> it's called dead name because if you say it, you die. Yes. Isn't it suspicious that the sexiest man alive is always already a celebrity? I feel like they're really not plumbing the depths in their research. Like, imagine if you got the sexiest man alive edition of People, and your orthodontist was on the front cover, and you were like, oh, whew, I guess I'm not the only one who sees it. <laughs> okay, Google, red toad, actual toad, like real life toad. Images for red toad, actual toes, like real life- THAT ONE'S NOT EVEN red. My pet peeve? People who yelled at you and made you angry, but try to joke with you a few minutes later because they can't stand the atmosphere they created. 
I'm sorry, did you mean parents? If everybody will behave with intelligence, the pneumonia rate will soon recede. There is much virtue in your if. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Pennsylvania, December 7th, 1922. Me reading this in 2020, almost 98 years after this was published. <laughs> yep. You know what? I'm taking away the language until you all learn how to act. Booga, unga, booga, booga. Power babble. That moment when you say you're bored and someone starts listing off chores and homework to do. Like, why the hell do you think I'm capable of doing something productive when I'm bored out of my damn mind? People who were born prematurely can never say the phrase, I was born ready. Um, <laughs> excuse you. I was so ready, I demanded to be born. Perhaps the thing that was the most pog champ was the friendship we made along the way. Are you gonna make a pog champ meme with Sienna? I did that before pog champ was even a meme. Characters with no flaws are boring, that's just a fact. Are you? Uh, fuck, never mind, I take it back! Everyone on this post trying to point out flaws that Kirby has should be absolutely and completely ashamed of themselves! There is a Kirby flaw. He isn't real, therefore I can't hug him. Vinyl is probably the best medium because the material is relatively soft, so it's easier to eat. Cassettes are a pain in the ass because you can't eat the shell. You have to wide out all the music yourself to eat it. I hate cassettes. I'm sorry, what? Being trans level 2 involves having a gender you reserve specifically for cis people, then breaking out the good actual gender around other trans people like it's fine china. By night, I am Socrates. But by day, I am Karen. A friend of mine wanted to play as a rude character in D&D, &D, and he told me that I am the rudest person he knows, and wanted me to teach him how to act rude. And yes, I taught him how to act rude, I'm not an asshole. Mothers and fuckers of the jury, I am the one radical dude, and I am here to prove the defendant is not bodacious. Prosecutor, I'm gonna have to ask you to take a chill pill, dude. Guys, this is a murder trial. Whoa, jury number three, I'm gonna have to ask you to chillax. Can you please chillax, murder is not bodacious. This guy literally murdered the victim in cold blood. And that, my dude, is in violation of Radical Saturday. And why are you telling me to chillax? Your radical honor, can we have jury dude number three leave the call for being too rowdy? Totally, dude. Thank you, my bodacious honor dude. Your radical honor, I only did it for the vine, I swear. That may lower your charges slightly, but you did break bodacious Saturday. Yana, what do you think? The defender does say he only did it for the vine, and that's pretty rad. However, he did break Radical Saturday, and that's just an absolute no in my book, dude. I find the defendant guilty for breaking Radical Saturday, but totally innocent for the not as radical murder. Thank you, my Radical Honor dude. You're absolutely welcome, my prosecutor dude. Keep being rad. What just happened? Yeah, but could a spy do this? Ugh, fine. I guess you are my little fuck jab. Come here. You cannot hold me accountable for accidentally making a Homestuck reference when I've never read Homestuck. If you've recognized it, that's your problem, and it's your sin. Hey, let's meet tonight. I'm from User City. Wanna meet? Hell yeah! I've never met any hot chicks in User City. It's a total backwater. Take me down to the User City where the grass is color and the girls are user preference. Bigfoot, but fully shaved. Do you mean Mr. Clean? Posts like this are why I have anxiety. You guys ever wonder why the students at Hogwarts are afraid of Shrieking Shack because it's haunted? When they literally go to a school with ghosts? Wait. What? 9 a.m. at school. Math class. It's chill. You're calm. Easy day. Then the teacher says, Pull out your last night's homework. Dark Souls music ensues. I found an end just chilling on my boobs after going outside to walk my dogs. Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, you're a fan of my writing. Name five of the unfinished stories sitting in my drafts. Da ah, 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 you're just trying to outsource title generation. Oh, fuck, I've been found out. The Ember Bear Amulet of Neolithic Hunter. 3,500 years old. I will never not reblog the 3,500-year-old gummy bear. Ever wonder what happened to the dinosaurs? This is a baby blue heron. This, this baby, baby blue heron killed the dinosaurs. The idea of being married is so weird. Like, what if I'm having a sad moment late at night and I want to cry in bed, and then there's just some guy here? No, I, I, I don't want to do in that situation. Dad bod Spider-Man can't drive. Yeah, well, maybe he can, but he's just a miserable parallel parker. God fucking damn it. You can now buy a beanbag onesie so you can stay seated wherever you go. Now you too can be dummy thick. Man, they just let anyone be a Pixar mom these days, huh? 
The best trope in the world is when a character realizes that they're in love with another character, and instead of being bashful or cute about it, their internal monologue is just, No. God. Fuck. Why? Cookie in a milk cup. I don't understand this picture at all. Egg. Oh. Now behold, milk in a cookie cup. Oh, it's a backwards egg. Are you trying to tell me the center of an egg is a cookie? I mean, it makes cookies, so... Yes. So did anyone else's brain just stop processing information lately, or is it just me? I've been nodding along to things and just hoping that nobody asks any questions. Same. I'd be a terrible superhero. I'd be at home and see the signal calling me in the sky and be like, I literally just sat down. I'm sorry, did you mean... Clint Barton? Stout! You disrespect Hawkeye in this house! How dare- What if vampires aren't affected by the sun? They just heard all the stories and decided to not push their luck. What if you can eat asbestos and construction companies have been hoarding their delicious, delicious asbestos for years? You. You get it. Sixteen years of difference. Peter Parker will never escape New York City Transit. Hey, that place was in Madagascar! Me at myself. You know, you're annoying to be honest. Very good trope. Civilian is told, stay in the car. While a hero goes to confront the villain, Hero gets in over his head and all seems disaster. Civilian crashes car to villain. Me watching. Ha 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 but they stand in the car. Yes, this is very good. Honestly, my new favorite phenomenon is the haiku bot coming in at the end of super serious posts. It's like watching a super villain come to a crushing defeat and then getting run over by a Roomba. Ugh. The haiku bot does not detect actual haiku. The artistry of haiku is that every line contains a thought or an image that can be separated and still understood with the poem as a whole coming together to form a bigger idea or image. The haiku bot just detects sentences of 575 syllables and calls it a day. It's an insult to the art form. Reading an actual haiku can be a spiritual experience. You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of snobbery. Beep boop! You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of robbery. Haiku bot 8. I detect haikus with the 575 format. Sometimes I make mistakes. Support me on PayPal at haikubot at gmail.com. Guys, donate to them. Man, this is weird, but imagine like being an ancient doctor who believes in humors, etc. and surgery doesn't exist. But you perform the first legit autopsy to learn about anatomy and you're like, What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. Andreas Vasias, 1543. I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today, hun? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. Literally me, I'm crying. I love Mando's vibes. Imagine some guy rolling up to your shop in a beat-up Honda Civic. He steps out wearing an Armani suit. He opens his wallet and offers you $2 to fix his car. You tell him it isn't enough, but you'll fix it if he does the most dangerous thing you could think of. He brings his toddler to do the job. Damn. So how are y'all coping with the Tumblr Facebook merger? God, we really are in hell, aren't we? Please, I got so scared. You very much live up to your URL. Literally felt my heart rate go up. Good to see this account is doing its job. <gasps> Guys, PewDiePie deleted his YouTube channel! You know, the discontent I spread is incomparable to the horrific deception you force into this world. I'm having a salad for dinner. Well, fruit salad. Actually, it's mostly grapes. Okay, it's all grapes. Fermented grapes. It's wine. I'm having wine for dinner. Hey, is everything okay? You haven't commented barking sounds under a picture of your favorite male character, and I'm starting to get worried. Don't call me out like this. You know what truly disgusts me? Being able to feel my own heartbeat. It's bad. I don't need to actively know what's going on in there. Don't need to feel that. It's not in my business. Stop it. Never underestimate how little I know about everything ever. Two plus two is... Fuck off! Read the first part! No thoughts. Head empty. Only goth chinchilla. It's adorable and I want 20. So why are you British? Was cursed by a malevolent warlock at birth. Is that any way to speak to your parents? Both of you to assume I was born of mortal means. Culinary students be like, I got spaghetti due at 1150. Culinary students about to cheat. I sure hope no one checks under my hat. Listen, listen. As a former culinary major, you right though? If you wouldn't go to someone for advice, don't take their criticism either. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, LP woke up and chose logic today and I don't know how to feel about that. My husband has informed me that around 2 to 3 a.m. he woke up to a muffled screaming and discovered that the cat has pulled open the Tupperware drawer and crawled inside. But her weight had closed the drawer and she was stuck inside and needed rescuing. Permission to laugh? I mean, I definitely laughed. 
How does a cat open a cupboard drawer? With a little criminal paws. Can we see the little criminal? This cat is a delinquent. Hey, her only crime is being more beautiful than everyone else. False, she also knocks over trash cans. <sighs> the evil baby. Tumblr is like wading through everyone else's garbage until you find something good and go, ah, this is good, and take it and display it in your own pile of garbage. Oh, the goblin market. I love when you listen to a new song and you're like three seconds in and you're already like, yes, this pleases me, it is mine, my song, all about me. Oh, yes, a fire truck, or as my little cousin likes to call it, a fuck. I hate when I go out in public and the public is there. Well, now it seems the public is no longer in the public. Knife one, but at what cost? Must the corpse of everything I once held near be dug up again and reanimated into a monstrosity that barely resembles what I once loved? Must the sweet memories from my youth be snatched from within my very skull and paraded around the town square for all to see? Must we continue to play God with our old and tortured creations who beg to be put to rest? This is about the iCarly reboot, by the way. I'm sorry, what? Hey, stop calling me a weeb. I can't even afford a lifestyle. Once, my brother's friend walked into his room and just started sniffing the air and went, oh, I smell a quarter. And then walked over to a pile of clothes and moved it and picked up a quarter. And I literally cannot stop thinking about it. It's been like a year and it haunts me to this day. I'm pretty sure he's a crow reincarnated. Why must snow turn into an eternal flashbang on sunny days? Um, excuse me, Mother Nature. Um, yeah, I kind of like my eyes, so can you fucking not? Okay, not to be a theater nerd too much, but tech crews, including people who do lights, sound, costume sets, and work backstage on shows, deserve far more recognition for their hard work. You're right, though. And finally, Spider-Man. Oh, dear God! I never give up. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja way. My dream is to become the greatest Okage. That way the whole village will stop disrespecting me and treat me like I'm somebody. Somebody fuck. My name is Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm gonna defeat every single one of you. Believe it. Hello. It's I, A.M. Seymour. Except I am good this video. Don't question it. Anyway. PM by dumb luck was infected with the big thing YouTube won't let you say and cannot scram. So, he has gathered a bunch of voice acting buddies to take over his job for today, and I hope you all enjoy. Merry Crimbo. Serotonin. In this economy. This is it. We found the ultimate specimen in millennial humor. We did it, everyone. We did it. I have an overactive imagination, so that translates into fears of a lot of things. One of those things happens to be the dark. However, I, I'm extremely fond of cryptids. SCPs, ghosts, and, and any other weird creatures. Basically, if it looks cool, I love it. So I accidentally removed my fear of what's watching me in the dark, you see, by thinking, oh, don't worry, they're just a friend. You come into my chilies, barbecue sauce on your titties, and disrespect my Valentina white bag? Ah, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. You're disrespecting a future US Army soldier. I think I know more about American Girl dolls than you. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. Evening, Grommy. <laughs> no, nope, not giving anyone the satisfaction. Today I learned that in 1508, Otto France pressed charges on rats for destroying barley crops. The lawyer representing the rats argued that the court's summons wasn't specific enough to his clients, and that Otto's cat population made it unsafe for his clients to come to court. The rats were acquitted. I want to meet the guy who offered to represent the rats. Business card says rat lawyer. Today I learned on the set of The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant once let out a 16-second fart and brought production to a standstill. Nobody said anything except director Rob Reiner, who said, uh, Are you okay, Andre? To which Andre replied, Who you know, boss? Legends only.
him crying. The lack of a comma meant that for a full minute I interpreted this as him declaring himself the new boss. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about that. Look at this. His feet too big for his goddamn he! How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast flat barren plains of compromise, acceptance and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who was terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. <laughs> the hills are alive with all the fucks I give on select topics. You know what? I don't care anymore! I enjoy things, and I am going to enjoy things, and I don't care if other people don't enjoy things that I do! I do not have to defend myself about every single thing I have ever liked! I do not have to preface every opinion with I know it's garbage for it to be valid! I like things! And I like liking things! And I don't care what other people think! And now that I've gotten that off my chest, let me read the Tumblr post for you, Pat. You ever have just one of those times where you and your friend just want to try something for a photo? Just for fun, not really expecting anything, and then... Like, we'll never be able to repeat this. You look like angelic ethereal beings from a gay musical set in the turn of the century American South nominated for like five Oscars. Well done! That's exactly what I told him to go for right before we jumped. I'm so happy we achieved this. Me in history class. Wow, humanity has been through some fascinating times. I wonder if I'll ever live through major historical events. Me, uh, no. No, 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 no. I want to get off this ride. It was supposed to be space travel. 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 It's just silence but it keeps getting faster. <sighs> this is stressing me out! Children, this is dirt. A geology field trip. My ancestors, watching me dump an entire stick of cinnamon, two cloves, an allspice berry, and a generous grating of nutmeg into my tea, sweetened with white sugar and loaded with cream. While I sit in my clean warm house surrounded by books, 25 plus outfits for different occasions, and six pairs of shoes. In a building heated so well, I have the windows open in mid-autumn. Our daughter prospers. We are proud of her. She has never labored in a field, but knows riches we could not have imagined. I like this so much better than the idea that our ancestors would be embarrassed or ashamed of us for being soft or some crap like that. Gatorade and weed can cure literally anything. The government doesn't want you to know this. The reason it took so long for them to develop a COVID vaccine is that they were too busy covering up the fact that Gatorade and weed can cure coronavirus. Me, when the electrolytes hit. Yeah. <laughs> I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine. But then I stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it into the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowells, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. Okay, is anyone else like exhausted, just way too tired, mentally and physically, and you look at other people your age who seem to be doing fine, and you feel so dysfunctional and broken because normal adult tasks and responsibilities just feel way too overwhelming, and you can't cope, and... Sorry, I got a bit overwhelmed there. 
Sometimes when I'm struggling with self-care, I remind myself that I am, at my most basic, a hamster in an enclosure. I need food and water and a safe environment. I need enrichment and the right level of stimuli. I get exhausted if exposed to too much stress and handling. I am a being with needs, and I deserve to have those needs met by a responsible and loving caregiver. I just happen to also be that caregiver. When I think about it like that, it's easier somehow. Also, I am round and furry, and my teeth grow at a spectacular rate. So, I had a nightmare last night, and that I told Kermit the Frog that I found him very funny, and he got terribly offended, and he started going on a rant, and it ended with him telling me he was going to set his house on fire and make me eat the ashes. Don't know why that was the way he went with it, but who am I to question a showbiz legend? Get Kermit the Frog here, I'm gonna make you eat the ashes of your children! Ha! <laughs> I'm back! Still, you're making progress if you can realize how dumb you were yesterday. Decatur Herald, Illinois, May 18th, 1934. Man. Well, well, thank you, old guy. I may be a shambling, socially awkward, anxious mess with no time management or conversation skills. This woman will put bees in your office. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on her. I'm starting an apiary. Good night to sexy evil people only. Everyone adding character this is wrong except whoever added doofenshmirtz. You. You have taste. Therapist. Tell me about some of your happy childhood memories. My... my what? You know what? This year sucked so much in so many ways. It was painful, unfair, cruel, and difficult, to say the least. The new year won't magically erase all the problems and issues we faced in 2020, but I genuinely hope you and your loved ones are able to catch a break. I hope 2021, in whatever way it's possible, is kinder to you. I hope healing comes fast, and I hope all the heaviness put upon you starts to lessen. Seriously, anyone who thinks that January 1st is going to magically fix everything that happened this year? Naive as frick! New Year's is a time to reflect on all the dogs and cats we've seen this year. And to look forward to all the dogs and cats we'll see in this year to come. Now that's more like it. Being on Tumblr is just so cozy, you know what I mean? Instagram and Twitter are all flashy and loud, but Tumblr is as cozy as my bedroom with scented candles on a cold November night. I don't know what part of Tumblr this person's on, but I want to find it. Uh, bro, what's with the diagonal red lines in your face? Wait a minute. Oh shit, are you anime blushing because you're in love with me, bro? I I it's okay, dude. You, you can tell me, bro. We're bros. I don't want to socialize today. I did that yesterday. I'd rather lock myself in my room and build Legos all day. I know that feeling. The opposite to formaldehyde. Is casual the Jekyll. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe I read this post with my own fucking eyes. Item. Cadbury crab eggs. Appear to be standard confectionery, but when eaten, a live and angry blue crab emerges, presumably attacking the eater. This is just part of Maryland culture. I know this is dumb, but I think that Australia exists. Like, the ocean is largely unexplored there. There could very well be a fallen empire, and we haven't found it yet. I bet Atlantis, you asshole. What if... Vampires aren't affected by the sun. They just heard all the stories and decided to not push their luck. What if you can eat asbestos and construction companies have been hoarding their delicious, delicious asbestos for years? You. You get it. Sixteen years of difference. Peter Parker will never escape New York City Transit. Hey, that place was in Madagascar! Me at myself. You know, you're annoying to be honest. Very good trope. Civilian is told, stay in the car. While hero goes to confront the villain, hero gets in over his head and all seems disaster. Civilian crashes car to villain. Me watching. <laughs> but they stand in the car. Yes, this is very good. Honestly, my new favorite phenomenon is the haiku bot coming in at the end of super serious posts. It's like watching a super villain come to a crushing defeat and then getting run over by a Roomba. Ugh. The haiku bot does not detect actual haiku. The artistry of haiku is that every line contains a thought or an image that can be separated and still understood with the poem as a whole coming together to form a bigger idea or image. The haiku bot just detects sentences of 575 syllables and calls it a day. It's an insult to the art form. Reading an actual haiku can be a spiritual experience. You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of snobbery. Beep boop! You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of robbery. Haiku bot 8. I detect haikus with the 575 format. Sometimes I make mistakes. Support me on PayPal at haikubot at gmail.com. Guys, donate to them.
Man, this is weird, but imagine like being an ancient doctor who believes in humors, etc., and surgery doesn't exist. But you perform the first legit autopsy to learn about anatomy, and you're like, What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. Andreas Vasias, 1543. I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today, hun? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. Literally me, I'm crying. I love Mando's vibes. Imagine some guy rolling up to your shop in a beat-up Honda Civic. He steps out wearing an Armani suit. He opens his wallet and offers you $2 to fix his car. You tell him it isn't enough, but you'll fix it if he does the most dangerous thing you could think of. He brings his toddler to do the job. Damn. So how are y'all coping with the Tumblr Facebook merger? God, we really are in hell, aren't we? Please, I got so scared. You very much live up to your URL. Literally felt my heart rate go up. Good to see this account is doing its job. <gasps> Guys, PewDiePie deleted his YouTube channel! You know, the discontent I spread is incomparable to the horrific deception you force into this world. I'm having a salad for dinner. Well, fruit salad. Actually, it's mostly grapes. Okay, it's all grapes. Fermented grapes. It's wine. I'm having wine for dinner. Hey, is everything okay? You haven't commented barking sounds under a picture of your favorite male character, and I'm starting to get worried. Don't call me out like this. You know what truly disgusts me? Being able to feel my own heartbeat. It's bad. I don't need to actively know what's going on in there. Don't need to feel that. It's not in my business. Stop it. Never underestimate how little I know about everything ever. Two plus two is... Fuck off! Read the first part!